Hello, everybody. Please work. Please work. Come on, please work. Yes, there we go. Right, we're going to try and solve this heart issue in a minute. But anyway, say hello to all some subscribers. Oh, my camera's... No, sorry, camera. My phone's over. Hello everyone, good to see you. Hope you are all well. Hope this is all working. Let me know if there's any issues. I've got a funny feeling it could be a bit laggy. Uh, hopefully it won't be. Right. Hello to everybody. How are you? Hello to Lee Robertson. Hello, buddy. Good to see you. Hello, Mr. Smith House Amiga. Hello, Craigus. Hello, Johnny Cripps. Is it overpowering my voice? Let me know, people. I'm sure you will. Take that tadam. A tiny tadam. Yes. Johnny Cribs, Lord of Finzi, hello everybody, Ellen Ox, hello Zaja, good to see you. Hello Michael Jensen, uh, Max Levin, hello SQ Ron, Era42, and Daz Gamer, and Bond Dash, very early for you, buddy. Hello everybody, good to see you. Albenstein, hello everybody, good to see you. King Arthur, oh, well, the King is here, hello Tom. Mr. Raw is here, saying hello to everybody, what a superstar he is, hope you're well, Mr. Raw. Max Levin, hope you're well, Daz Gamer, hope you're well, Zaja, hope you're well, everyone, hope you're well, hello Kelly2021. Okay, thanks, just hell of a lot of work at the moment. Well, for you? We're all busy our own ways, aren't we? I uh, hope everyone is well, though. Hello, Gumbio. Hello, John. Good to see you, buddy. Hello, Sparky. Hello, Sparky. Good to see you. Uh, have I missed anyone's name? So, good, a quick question to anyone. Have you bought a new Robocop? I know a few people have. A few people have finished. Um, it's a bit louder. I did wonder if that was the case. Thank you very much. Is that better? Um, hopefully, got read it. Have, hopefully, I haven't got to read all that again. <laughs> but anyway, Saturday, 7.08. Mate, really appreciate you being here. You're probably still having breakfast, aren't you? What is on the breakfast menu today? Thank you. Nice to see you, my friend. You too, buddy. You too. Right. This is, of course, if you, hopefully, if the thumbnail is working, it's all based on stream requests. I had loads. It went absolutely crazy, which, of course, is not a bad thing. Unfortunately, there was a bit too many for one stream, so we've gone for ten. We'll see how many get through. This was requested by Algenstein. Uh, Alkenstein, hopefully that's, that pre-stream screen worked. That delayed it a little bit. I did that yesterday. It took me about three hours. But hopefully that will work. If it needs to be longer, let me know in the future. I'll try and sort that out. But it will be very handy if and when I do stream on Twitch. Of course, YouTube's going to stay remain, of course. But I do agree with you. It does need a little bit of a tweak, doesn't it? Um, or the voice is quiet. Let's tweak both of them, shall we? Um... Right, so we've gone for Steg the Slug, requested by Alkenstein. Flood was Alkenstein. Fine Brimstone was requested by Ox. Flimmer's Quest was Alkenstein. Sizzle Train Stopping was Quagers. Alien Breed Tower Assault, which I have to admit I'm still not very good at, was requested by SQ Ron. Raiden was requested by Andrew DeBlind. Spiky in Transylvania was Lord of Infinity. Hudson Hawk was Alkenstein. And Lethal Excess, if I get time, was also Alkenstein. That's, uh, yeah, that sounds quite good, doesn't it? There we go. Yes, train spotting. Yes, haven't played for absolutely ages though. Um, yes, basically, you know, this time I'm not going to pick the games. I'll let the viewers pick the games. But anyway, yes, this was requested. But yeah, hello to Bonsai Master. Hello to David Jensen. Good to see you, um, mate. Don't worry about being late. It's not a problem at all. I was late. I was a fraction late. Uh, but yes, I hope everybody's well. Unique platform of this. Yes, I would show you the box, but the box is about ninety percent green. There's no point. But I have never finished it before. I think it's got 60 levels, something like that. Some levels are quite short and sweet and some are quite long. But yes, a good game. Um, nice flood. Good evening, Jamie. Hope you're well. Max, Sparky, hope you're well too. So, Mr. Raw, did you buy it? I know Mr. Robert Gray, surprise, surprise, has bought it. And surprise, surprise, he has actually finished it already. Yes, he has. He has made some good requests. Hopefully you're a few of those, Mr. Swedish House. Hope you're well, Swedish House. David Jensen, Fashionable Late. And Lee Robertson, it's good to see you, buddy. Are you off this weekend? I hope you are. Hello to Andrew Joseph. Good to see you. What's up? How you doing? Good to see you. Um, yes, I don't have many of the box versions. I've got a box version of Alien Breed. But I'm not going to go crazy with the boxes because I'm working tomorrow morning. I'm not going to bombard my bed with boxes. So I'll just we'll leave... Leave it like that. So once the stream's finished, go straight to bed. I'm up at five o'clock in the morning. Uh, never been here from the start. Mate, that's fantastic. Good to see you. That does not sound right. That should not sound like that. I have also made a few changes. My goodness me. Sounds like a typewriter, doesn't it? Let's go. 
Thought we'd talk about Swedish House's old school typewriter once again there. Hello. Um, right, that's not what should happen. Right, Bullfrog. Um, hello to Colin. Good to see you. But yes, this one, I didn't actually realise when I put Stegna Slug and Flood on the stream, that both of them are pretty much similar in their own way, because of course both characters can go along the ceilings and the walls. But yes, Stegna Slug, I've played quite a bit. Didn't get very far, but I have never played it on the CC4. But anyway, how are you people doing? How has your two weeks been? And what have you been up to? What are you happening? What's happening this weekend? Um, yes, yeah, some people probably quite late. Some people probably quite early. But yeah, it's going to be an early start for me. But hopefully, well, it has been announced actually. Weekends are going to be stopping. Um, not completely, but this flex system that we do is coming to a close. So the ones I put my name down for, hello, Freehead Monkey. Hello, to Mike. Good to see you. Those ones are going to be cancelled, so this weekend is going to be the last one, so I get my weekends back. So that's a good thing. Didn't actually mean to do that. I can't wait, you know, I forget about that. There's a teleport in there somewhere. Which is fine, but I didn't actually want to go that way. But there we go. Rules of the game. Oh, you've got to try and find all of the trash. Or rubbish, whatever you want to call it, and then get to the exit door. Level 2. Uh, right, now I've been a busy boy. It's got some music in the background. Because, of course, not a lot of games on today's list do have music and sound effects combined. But hopefully, let me know if there's any issues with the sound effects, if there's any issues with the way it's looking and performing and sc sc scrolling. Where's my weapon? Right, there we go. Each level, you start off with no weapons, but you do get a different weapon per stage. Go to watch the vlog. I appreciate that, Mr. Swedish House. It's done quite well. Uh, 299, I think, was the last, last time I checked. But yes, it's random. It's always very random. But they do well. People enjoy them. I enjoy recording them. It does take quite a lot of time. In fact, it took me about six months, was it? Six months? Flood, you love it. Hello to Lewis Rainford. Also, good to see you, buddy. Don't tend to see you on streams these days. You're a busy boy. How are you doing? How's the family? Everything is fine. Gotta watch the to begin. will be fun. I hope, hopefully so. How are you doing, monkey? Monkey man, three heads. I saw that SQ on, that's fantastic. Yeah, I haven't played it for a while. Well, I have actually. Uh, about a month or so ago, but that was of course a birthday stream which had so many problems. So unfortunately that game didn't really sort of receive the love it deserved because it was all stuttery. But yes, anyway, that was a game which I finished uh, 2018, I think I did. In fact, all Shadow Beasts now, I've finished them so many times. In fact, I probably finished the first one a lot more, considering that was the one I played the most. I suppose, yeah. But I love them. I absolutely love playing them. I, s I still prefer the first game. I always will prefer the first game, but yeah. The third is also very good. It has a reasonable sort of length as well. It's not too shabby. I like that. Uh, but congratulations. I will watch the video over the weekend. Another one. I didn't know that one existed. I didn't know a lot about that. I'm, well, I'm learning something today. I don't know if it's a good thing or not, because it throws you off completely. But anyway, we've got to substitute Boomerang for Grenade. Now that ghost, uh, the ghost of Matilda, I think it is, starts off 15 seconds behind you. And it basically will then follow your movement. But the ghost will actually move faster, so eventually it will catch up with you. Where's the exit? Where's the teleportation sequences? I don't actually know. Decent flood game. Hope you're well, Dad's game. Good to see you. Where is the... Oh my lord, what's going on here? What I wanted was the flamethrower. But yes, like, um, what's the game, what's the game, what's the game? Rainbow Island, of course, it does what Rainbow Island is known to do. Of course, flood the screen completely. But you can go in the water, just don't stay in there for too long. But every enemy you kill, you do get a heart, which will replenish a little bit of your energy, which of course is nice. But yes, you do actually have your energy drained when you go underwater. But you are going to spend a lot of time underwater. Uh, right, so we've got to try and get down here, find all the coke cans. Tells you at the top of the screen, we've got 60 more to find. We've got currently a flamethrower. It's a good animation this game. Haven't played many games by Bullfrog, but what is your favourite game by Bullfrog? Uh, well, I've got to catch up on this chat. Uh, love the music. Hope you're well, Colin. Good to see you, Colin. The enemies, I mean, of course, yes, Max Levin did some hammer beads of this game. Um, but yes, I've done a few of the sprites as hammer beads, but he did quite a few of the background sprites, which I've, was a good idea, I like that. Hello Breakpoint Gaming, good to see you buddy, hope you're well. Decent fun game, uh, six months to make a vlog, you need to use your passport. I do need to use a passport, Mr. Speed's house, but amazingly I've got one, I mean you can't believe I've got one, do you? Yes, I can't quite believe it, my mum couldn't quite believe it, in fact people at work couldn't quite believe it, but it was certainly something I needed to get. Syndicate, I'm sure a lot of people are probably going to say Syndicate being one of their favourites. I'm probably going to say Theme Park, which is one of my favourites by Bullfrog, but this is also a very good game nevertheless. Um, 
yeah, so I've got a few projects I need to do, but of course having my weekends back is going to be a, a bit of a breakthrough for me. Uh, I don't get a lot of time to focus on content for the channel. Right, so of course, the longer you take, the longer it is actually underwater, and it gets worse and worse and worse until it fills up completely. I'm assuming it probably does, I've never actually got to that point where it fills up completely. Uh, favorite ball game is Syndicate. I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised with the Swedish House, not surprised at all. Have you finished it? I know it's a long game, I do actually have a box version of it, I can't shoot up one either. Like this one, it's about 90% green. So it's going to be eliminated by the green screen. But yeah, it's not really my sort of game, not, not going to lie. I'll give it a try, of course, but it's not really my cup of tea. However, I do have a cup of tea. It's gone absolutely stone cold once again. Um, I'll put a question on in a momento. But I've got to try and find three more Coke cans. Uh, Demi finished it. He finished this quite a lot of games. Where's these Coke cans? Now that... Well, that's interesting, because that teleport has really thrown me off now, because I normally am quite good at this one, but... Where is the Coke cans? Jamie, we've got them! Right, I'm gonna tangle. We've got them all, Jamie. Now look at lives. We have three lives, no trash to find. We found it all. Theme Park is yours too. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the building games, but yes, I think my favourite, favourite, favourite of building games is... Um, theme Hospital, but on the Mega, yes, it is Theme Park. Do you know what, I've done that so many times, I keep looking at lies, thinking it's trash. Um, the enemies on this level, I mean, some of them do actually work against you, some of them do work for you, some actually drop trash, some pick trash up, some are instant kills and some are not. Uh, what's the furthest I've reached in this game, Mr. Watts? A very good question, I don't know the answer to that, it's certainly nowhere near as much as the halfway point. I've probably reached about 12, something like that, it's been a long time though. But I did play it quite a lot back in the day, but we did borrow this one from a friend from school. In fact, I think eventually it was a copy fobby situation, but again, it wasn't for me, it was him. We were quite lucky, a lot of games that we owned, which were copies, were copied by other people. So that is a good thing. So we were quite lucky, really, but yes, we all did it in our own ways. Of course, it's naughty, don't copy that floppy, but yes, we all did it. And yes, it was a cracked disc version as well, but I still didn't use cheats. Because I want to enjoy the game, and yes, it's so much more easier with cheats, but yeah, this one, it's much better to do it without. Anyway, we've got two more pieces of trash to find, boom, boom, power, fall into a bomber's pit, it's not an instant kill, in fact, it makes you fly with a boom. <laughs> the good old XCOPY Pro, yeah. What one did you have? We had XCOPY 2, I think it was. Um, and yeah, it's, it's quite simple to do, isn't it? Which is why so many people did it. So, Mr. Raw, how are you, buddy? How much you plan this this weekend? And Sajad, always good to see you, buddy, as well. Dungeon Keeper is good too, not played it. Uh, Quaker's Theme Park is yours. The only building game that I've actually finished is Theme Hospital on the PC, MS DOS. That game, I just, I was in my zone. I just kept playing it, playing it, playing it, day in, day out. And yes, when it gets to the furthest points, yes, it's incredibly long. The final level, I think, took me about four days, four or five days, something like that. It gets difficult when you have earthquakes, which causes wreck your machines. But overall, I love the detail of it, so it's really good. I do have it on the PlayStation 1. Unfortunately, it's a bit laggy, a bit slow on the PlayStation 1. I can't really sort of cope with what's going on, on screen. But mine drives at 10. The bigger the, the buildings are, the more you have in your possession, it's going to affect that. Yes, I mean, I do have one. Of course, you've seen it multiple times. Um, yes, I do have an X-Hobby Pro, and it is showing signs of wear and tear. I'll show you in a minute, but yeah, basically, yes, it's it's showing its age. Uh, now that is actually instant kill territory, we touch that thing. Um, but yes, does anyone still have their X copy, the original X copy? Uh, excited, and you'll buy it even though I will use my originals until they break. I know what you mean, buddy. No worries at all, but maybe you'll be next time. Would you love to see it if that is your YouTube channel? I think I've missed quite a few things here. Uh, oh my goodness me. How do you feel about the maxi? Uh, that's probably what you're talking about. I'm not surprised it's going to happen. I was certain it was going to happen. Um, but yes, they should have just gone straight for the full size. But of course, as the success of the mini on the CG4 and the maxi on the CG4, yes, I think it's a good thing. Um, but of course, you know, the A500 mini was over £100. It's going to be quite a pricey system, I think. In fact, it's guaranteed to be expensive. 
Um, it's going to be at least 150. I reckon. Just a guess. It's going to be something like that. It's going to be a lot of, lot of dough, you know. But of course, I will support them. And of course, I will buy one. Uh, and I will do a video once it happens. But of course, it's not for quite some time yet. But anyway, what about you guys? Are you going to buy one? And who has got the mini? And do you still use it? I don't use it much. I'm not going to lie. I don't use it much. Uh, that sounds like the weather here in Scotland. Well, it's not too bad down here. It has its moments. Yes, when it rains, it does rains. It rains and pours. It rains cats and dogs. And speaking of cats and dogs, Jasper is there. He's actually asleep. You have the mini. Do you play it much? Do you use it much? Uh, no, unfortunately, Raw didn't get that far. Um... Theme park is Bullfrog. It is indeed. It is indeed. There's the exit door. No, that's a teleport, Jamie. I go on the ceiling. Now, some enemies actually drop trash, like I say, and some actually pick trash up. Music stop. That's, pro that's not a problem at all. That's not a problem at all. Thank you. Right. So, of course, being underwater, so your energy is going to drain. But, yeah, this laser, I guess it kills you. We can actually grab onto the side of it. Or the bottom of it, whatever the case may be. Been playing gods on it, yeah? It's a fantastic game, really is good. I've only finished the remaster, but yes, the remaster is a lot more easier than the Amiga version, which I still think is the best version, of course. But yes, it is a bit a bit more easier to remaster. And of course, we're gonna go for the the modern look. Personally, I don't particularly like it. Uh, I don't know what your opinions are on that, but yeah, I do prefer the original look, of course. The good old bit my brother's look. Right, we've got to get out of this water ASAP. Hello to Wrecking Crew, <laughs> good to see you. How was my Halloween? It was okay. I didn't go trick or treat or anything like that. Uh, but I am missing some trash. But I just did a stream. Um, yes, I was on late anyway, so it wouldn't have matter. I'm sure there would have been some monsters that knocked on my door, but I wasn't at home. I was at work. Earning a few bob. But good to see you, Wrecking Crew. Thank you everyone that's commented on my vlog. I really do appreciate that. How was yours? How was your Halloween? With regards, it was still good for an old game, yeah. It's superb. It, it, I mean, a lot of the Big Bad Brothers games have great music, of course, but there's just not a lot of it. But I have bought, on the CDTV, Xenon 2, which I still have not played, but I heard that has got quite a lot more music, and maybe even a few more animations. So I've heard, anyway. Right, we need a Coke can, tape, it all counts as trash in this game. Personally, I don't think Cassettes and floppy disk is trash, but in this game it is. Right, now we've got to head to the exit door. God is great. Um, yeah, good memories of that one. Yes, we borrowed that one for a friend. And yes, it was the same friend. But yeah, I do have a box version. It's not one of my greatest quality mint ones. It's certainly not up there. But the game is certainly up there, one of the greatest by the Big Bad Brothers. Made a big display for Halloween and raised some money. Did you really? That's cool. Right, where's the... Uh, we still got me one more piece of trash. I've messed this one up big time. Um, but despite, yes, there's a few, there's a few houses down here, just a few down from me that went a bit crazy. Uh, probably the sort of places that are also going to go a bit crazy for Christmas, which causes breathing down our necks. It doesn't link to your channel. I will try and sort that out for you in the future, Mr. Max. I'll try and sort that out. You're looking forward to the Maxi. Yeah, I think a lot of people are. You know, it gives people a chance, that haven't experienced what? the Amiga, of course. Gives them a chance to experience it. What? The younger generation, yes. Like, where's this final piece of trash? It is an expensive box, yes. If you're like me, you want to try and get it as mint condition, it can be very, very pricey. Right, I'm going to die, aren't I? My energy's draining. Where is this final piece of trash? I think we'll go back in time. Personally, I think we'll go back in time. Anyway, go on the sort of scene. That's the way to do it. But yes, the longer you take, this material is going to catch up with you very easily. Right, we'll go through the portal, I think. So what games have you been playing recently, guys? And what is the lag like? Is it better? Is it better than last time? Right, I think the only way is here. Because I think we've missed one. Very easy to miss trash in this game. Uh, where is this piece of trash? Uh, carrot character. Lag is not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. It's not too shabby, I suppose. That's okay. We go with that. 
If you can tell me where this piece of trash is, I'll be very grateful. I certainly missed it somewhere. But no time limit. Unless you count Matilda as time limit, I suppose it is. Did anyone go dressing up as Halloween? I have done quite a few times in the past. I've been anything from Freddy Krueger to a mummy to a zombie to Dracula, of course. Back in the day, just used a mask. That was all we did. That's all was needed, really. I can't find this piece of trash. Where is the piece of trash? One life, one piece of trash. So it's really caught up with me now. It really is, yeah. I don't think I've ever played that one. Uh, Ween, The Prophecy on Amiga. No, I don't think I've played that one. I've heard of it though. Definitely heard of it. Right, that wasn't particularly great, that one. There we go. But you do get past it, but unfortunately I've got to write it down. But anyway, we've got a lot of games to get through. It's half past eight already. Um, uh, we'll go to, right, anyway, we'll go to the votes now. So anyway, quite a lot on today's list. Like I say, a lot of requests was received. So we've got Steg the Slug, we've got Flood, which of course we've just done. Farm Brimstone was requested by Ox. Flimbo's Quest, Sensible Train Stopping, Stopping, Spotting, should we say. Uh, Alien Breed Tower Assault Raiden, which is basically a demo which I put on a floppy disk. Hudson Hawk and Lethal Excess. <laughs> wasn't great, buddy, wasn't great. You're just as a pirate. Ooh ah, ooh ah, and all that lot. Yes. I have, actually, no, I have been a pirate. Yes, twice, actually. Once in my young days, and once was in Ipswich. Yes, I did. In fact, yes, you might have seen my loft log. Up in the loft was uh, my sword, and my gun, and my mask. Yes, when I was a pirate. Um, Raiden. Yes, Raiden is a demo, which, unfortunately, never, ever got a full game release. We'll go for that, yes. Three to four seconds. That's not too bad, Sweetest House. That's not too bad at all. Yes, Raiden was basically a version on Amiga which never got finished. You have the Mini and use it most days. I won't get a Maxi at first, maybe after the price comes down. Yeah, it's going to be quite pricey, I think. What is your opinion on the controller? Do you like it? Right, um... Turn that off, Jamie. We don't need that anymore. Uh, can't think of a modern remake remake with better graphics than the original. Well, I'm a bit funny when it comes to remakes. Unless, unless it's done correctly, just don't put it 3D, like uh, some probably have. If it's a game that should be 2D, then keep it 2D. Don't change it by going 3D. But I suppose it's just one of those things. You either love it or you don't. Um... I'm looking forward to the maxi. Uh, right, let's get that in shot. Now I did do a video on this a long time ago, but I've never finished it. In fact, it was on the laptop, which is why it never got finished, because it busted. But yeah, it's a bit laggy at times. But at least the chat delay is okay. Right, put a question on for this one. I can find it. Uh, what games have you played which were never finished? Um, no problem, Mr. Raw. Uh, better not. Better to wear a mask. Fighting enough like that. Well, I, I have fired a few children off when I was dressed up like Freddy Krueger. Yes, that's a true story. Yes, using floppy disk. I don't think Raiden's on here. Um, how come you're not using iGame? It doesn't work. I keep forgetting, buddy. I keep forgetting. Yes, I will use it. Yes, thank you to King Arthur. iGame is now working. You've got a fully upgraded CF card. I've also had a few bits of upgrades for the windows. Thank you once again to King Arthur for that. Yes, we'll do it for the next one. Keep forgetting it. Let's see how we change. I'm not a fan of change. Yes, if I'm going to work, I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Yes, I do have breakfast and I do have a cup of tea. In fact, I take the tea with me. Yes, I do. Crazy is it? Crazy I know, but yeah, I've always had breakfast before I go to work. PP Ammo, never finished it. I would like to finish it one day, yeah. Now what I mean is, what games have you played which was never finished? The game wasn't finished. You know, basically this was not finished. One level demo was all it reached. The game was not completed. That's what I mean. The game wasn't finished by the creators. <laughs> no, I think you probably misunderstand the question. This game was not completed, it never got a full release, because it wasn't finished. So yes, what games, because of course some games you might have played the, the demo, and it never got a finished game. It might be like that. 
Hello, Karen. Good to see you, Karen. And Kite G. Hello, everybody. No problem at all. I didn't, didn't list it properly. <laughs> yes, games that didn't get finished by the creators. It never got published. Never got put to... Well, never went in the shops. Uh, there's a few comments here. I uh, hope you're pretty well, Kite 6 Good to see you. And I'm glad to see you're also solving your space issues, like me. Don't have a band. I used to make some C4 remakes. Yes, you have, Max. Very good. I'm pretty new here, so I've not only just started your vlogs. Mate, that, that's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, it was just a random idea I came up with, and yeah, it, it just. You've got a lot of views, and people wanting to see more of them. In fact, they do better than my long plays. What is this called? This is called... It's Raiden. Raiden, yes. You're thinking that game? Yes, there was one which I streamed about a month or so ago. Yes, it looked like Tarot. You climb the walls, and yes. I can't remember its name. I'm sure Gumbio knows as well. Hello, JTB. Good to see you. How you doing? More vlogs soon. Well, I'm trying. I'm seriously trying. Yes, I know what you mean. I can't think of its name, but it's, it's yeah, I'll, I'll try and find its name, but yes, I should know. It's basically got three letters. I'll try and figure it out in a minute. Yes, Cammy's done quite a lot of those. Yeah, she has. And of course, she's streaming now, isn't she? Hope you're all Karen. How you doing, Karen? Good to see you. And Mike, how's the life of Mike? What have you been do doing lately? <laughs> And JPB, good to see you. How's Polly? Is it Polly or Molly? It's Molly, isn't it? Right, can we pause the demo? Right, so this is basically a one level demo. The game never, ever, unfortunately, never got finished. But the demo is available to play. But that's unfortunately as far as it got. Uh, I think there was also a sequel to Rodlands, which is called Flower, which also didn't get finished. I haven't played it though, I have heard of it. Uh, of course, there were games which were supposed to have been made, of course, the way Commodore went, they never got finished, never got started. Never saw the light of day. Yes, I would have liked to see Rodland 2 as well, but yeah, apparently it's called Flower. So I've heard. And it's completely utterly different from the first game. But yeah, Rodland, I mean, I've still never played it as arcade, but it looks absolutely tip top. Yes, Mika has got some very good arcade ports, hasn't it? You're chilling. Chilling and drinking. Right. Okay, hopefully it's going to work. Now, I have got a few Raiden games, but of course, not on the Commodore. Uh, I have got a few on the PlayStation 2. I think it's Raiden 3, I think I've got. Probably the only one I've got, actually, now thinking about it. But you have the option of music or sound effects, but it's quite weird I go for. Music on a shoot em up. I like to hear all the pew 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 and the boom boom booms. But okay, we'll go for music on this one. Um, the monkey, yes. The monkey man. Right, okay. Uh... Yeah, good to see you guys. I appreciate it. Got f viewers. 35 viewers, that's fantastic. Really is good. But yes, unfortunately, yes, working tomorrow is going to be a bit of a nuisance. But yes, I have had the last two days off because it wasn't very busy at the moment of time. But yeah, Mr. Raw, I think you should give this a whirl. But yes, if you want the uh, the file, I can send it to you. But it's just, unfortunately, the only first level. Now, also, do you get a bomb, which is a space bar? A little bit of delay, but there it is. Kills all enemies on the screen, which should do anyway. Um, yes, yeah, so many good items. I mean, Swift and Rainbow Islands, to name a few. Wadland, Toki, R Types. Not many of them actually played on official arcade, though. Unfortunately, there's a few there I would like to play, like our type. I've never actually seen one with my own two eyes before. Um, mate, I might forget, but if, if I forget, please remind me. But yes, I'll try my best. <laughs> or send you the link. Either way, I'll get, get it over to you. It's not auto fire, unfortunately. It's a bit of a bu button basher, this one. Uh, not sure what the medals do. Probably help towards ranking, I expect. A bit like Silkworm, possibly. Boss battle at the end of it. Ouch, it's hurting already. Yes, I've heard about that. Yes. I don't know if it's on the mini I've got, though. Possibly. Not sure. He's looking into that. Yes, that's the one. A-C-Y. Yes, that's the one, buddy. Thank you, Gumdio. I'm buffing my brain. And Mr. War's brain, too. 
sweetest house. They're not all bad. They have made some bad ones. They've made some bad choices. Of course, yes, I'm probably going to like a lot more of them than, than you. But yes, don't mention the words US gold to sweetest house. That's cursing in his book. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yes, it's a shame it never got finished. But you do downgrade slowly if you take damage. Doesn't take it all away. But yeah, this is, I think, the best way of doing it. So you've got the blue, which is basically a laser. It's strong, but spread as far as this one. Um, that question. So much going on here. It's ridiculous. Um, that one there. Lovely Star Games, this should have the Sidewinder sound effects. It should do. Yes, I have played Sidewinder 1 and 2. I didn't get far, though. But I've definitely played them. And I did see footage of the first game on the CD4 yesterday, for the very first time. I've watched a few YouTube videos, and I saw that one. It does need a bit more colour, though. It's not enough colour for my book. But of course, if it shoots them up, yeah, I'm willing to accept that, so that's fine with me. No Man's Sky, never played it. Is that on PlayStation 5? Or was it just played it before? I've never played it before. So, Kite CCG, what have you been up to? Apart from trying to clear space in your loft. Like I've been doing in my house. What else have you been up to? Right. Bombs. We've got two more. Two more. What I might do in a minute is have one more go, but we'll have sound effects this time. We'll have some boob and pals. Another one? Why not? Interesting, it says stage four on the left. Oh, I'm, do you know what? I'm very tempted to get a VR, but I just don't know if my brain can be able to accept it, because of course I don't get motion sickness, but I have when I use VR one time. It's quite an expensive risk, isn't it? Quite an expensive gamble. It would have been Gumbio, yes, absolutely so. Yes, AC. A-C-S-Y-S was the one you were referring to, yes. Hello Gary James, sorry I missed you there buddy, and Lord of Infinity. Um, played a bit of Kevin in the, wo Kevin in the Woods on CG4. I've done that one. Uh, it would have been quite a nice scum type adventure. It's Kevin in the Woods? Sounds a little bit like uh, Home Alone, but he's gone out of bounds a little bit. Kevin! What are you doing over there? I have to check that one out. I've not played many adventure games on the CG4. I've not played many on the Mega actually. It's mostly MS DOS. Uh, yes, yeah, that's a shame it's not finished. Unless, of course, someone out there knows how to finish these games. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, Kevin the Woods. Never heard of it. But yes, I have bought quite a few CG4 games recently. But they're crazy, shall we say. Not over expensive, though, but your CG4 versions aren't as expensive as mere games. Why is the robots? That was not finished. I like what you've done there, but of course you know me very well. I love that game, yes. Just don't mention it to David Jensen. Saying why is the robots to David is like saying sweet, uh, US gold to Swedish house. So there we go. That should be the first level again. So what I'm going to try and do is quit and put some sound effects in place. Kevin in the woods with Michael Jackson's Shutter. Shudder, should we say. Right, I'm killing myself on purpose. Hello, Cammy. Good to see you. How are you doing, Cammy? Apache. Yes, that was a free game which I got with Alien Breed 2. Another good thing about the old, old days and owning box versions. Yeah, you got free demos. Uh, I had a demo of Moonstone. I had a demo of Last Samurai. I also had a demo of... Apache, of course. I think it was a demo, or full game, I can't remember. It might be a demo, actually. But yeah, totally unexpected. But unfortunately, this doesn't work anymore. No Man's Sky wasn't finished when it came out, but look at it now. Oh, I see. No Man's Sky on release day, and yes, it felt such a letdown from what was promised. See, I don't know any of that. That's all news to me. You use PlayStation V... You use Pete VR, so does your dog by the looks of it, yeah. <laughs> How much is it? 
don't mind me asking, how much is this VR? And I'm thinking about it, I've been thinking about it since I got the PlayStation 5. I'm playing Lies of Pete on PlayStation 5. Yeah, how you doing Cammy? Good to see you. Do you like it as good as the Souls games? Straight over my head. Straight over my head, that one. <laughs> right, I'll go for sound effects. Yeah, good to see you, Vecan Crew. Hope you're well, buddy. And thank you for watching my vlog. I appreciate that. Just making some music and working on a large Lego project. Busy B, you are. Busy B. Looking forward to that one. £500. That's absolutely insane cash. I've got to try and solve this heart issue as we haven't solved that yet, have I? I'll have a go at that in a minute. Um. While this game is loading, we'll try it out. I'm trying to skip rid of that heart once and for all. What game is on your PlayStation you're looking at next? I don't know, Quakers. I absolutely have no idea. There's not many, to be quite honest. Uh, I mean, Robocop is on my list as well. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't really know. Um, there's not really many on the list at the moment of time. But yeah, I'm sort of contemplating with VR. But there are things which I want to try and solve, like the shelf issue, which I've got to try and solve, which is going to be quite an expensive project. So I've got a funny feeling quite a lot of my money is going to go towards that after payday. So yeah, I've got to try and be good financially. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the future may hold in terms of PlayStation 5 game. Of course, I'll keep playing it. We'll keep enjoying it. But yeah, not many a moment of time. I mean, what games would you suggest? What games is the ones everyone's buying at the moment? Apart from, of course, ones you've already mentioned. It's Daichi here. Hello, Paul. Good to see you, Paul. How you doing? Hello to the US of A. Um, right, my thumb is killing me, but I am using a zip stick, which is still painful. But once fully maxed out, this is a nice piece of kit, this weapon. It goes pretty much to fall over the screen. Good to see you, Dice. How you doing? Faith for continued support, buddy. Really do appreciate it. Uh, more just shelves. Yes, that's pretty much what I do these days. Or more just space. Yeah. Lord! Alright, hang on a minute. Everyone just joined in. This is Raiden on the Amiga, which is a game that never ever... Unfortunately, never got finished. Only one demo, that's all it got to. Shame, would have liked to see a full game of this. God, my family's killing me! How's life treating you, buddy? What's, what have you been up to? How's the family? You all alright? Yes, Morgan of is certainly not a lie. That is definitely a, a continuous problem. And one person at work did say to me, the cheek of the man, he said to me, just sell them, Jamie. <laughs> Next joke. No, not selling any of them. Not at any price. No way. I'm going to continue to buy them. I always buy them. And I'm always going to keep enjoying them. But yeah, I'm definitely not going to sell any of them. The cheek of the man, eh? The cheek of him. Um, 1943. Yes, not played many. Uh, is it US Gold? I don't know. You said poo in the title there. Maybe it was. I can't remember. The CD4 version wasn't so bad. In fact, I think I probably preferred the CD4 version to the bigger version. Now thinking about it. Oh, I don't know what that thing does. Hit missiles as well as homing missiles. Uh, does it all fire? It doesn't really work on it. That is auto fire. It's even slower. So yeah, I don't know, buddy. I, that's a good question. I don't really know what the answer is. I don't think so. It's just... It's just... It, it makes it less painful, doesn't it? There's quite a few games that, you know, if you're using auto fire, yes, it's going to be a lot less painful for you, but it actually does make the game... Well, it makes your rate of fire slower if you're using auto fire. Unless you tap it. Like Banshee is a perfect example. Lethal Excess is another good example. If you use auto fire, the rate of fire is certainly not going to be as much if you just keep tapping the button repeatedly. Um, how is the wildlife in your garden? Yeah, so, oh my lord, hold on a second. Make sure you press the right keyboard, Jamie. Space bar, not the one for the, for the PC. Right. So what do you prefer, with or without sound effects? You've got the best of both worlds. 
Use your, your controller. Yeah, I'm not a fan of controllers. Never have been, never will be. I mean, there are some good controllers out there, but for the Amiga and CC4, no. PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, 4, 5, all that malarkey, yes. But for games like this, I'd rather use this. <laughs> Mount bombs. Uh, that's, no, it doesn't. I don't think it. What, what do you think, Gum Judge? Do you think it is? I don't think it is. It just protects our weary thumbs, doesn't it? In Hurricane, it's happening also faster and holding down the button surround on the separate button. Yeah, I don't really tend to use, in Hurricane anyway, I don't tend to use auto fire because it makes the game quite loud. I don't hear the amazing soundtrack. As I've only just started your vlogs, the shelf issue is still an ongoing saga. Yes, it's crazy. I did that, what, 2000? No, I did it in lockdown. That was an expensive task. Uh, that was difficult, I, I thought. Not in your opinion, I agree with you. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a DIY man. I'm definitely not good at DIY. I'll just, I'll get by, you know what I mean? But I'll give it a try. But hopefully this time, it'll be a bit more better than that one. Even though I had a lot of fun with that. And again, it's done really, really well. Got about 82 comments, I think, on the last saw on that one. Uh, good point. Always use auto fire, so maybe I could actually come further than I used in manual. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, you do have the... Yes, you do. But I don't don't use it very much. Just, just tap, tap, tap away. Just tap, tap, tap away is what I tend to do. <laughs> but there we go. Raiden. There we go. One level. You saw it twice. Good old floppy disks. <laughs> right, what do you want to see next, people? Uh, Stake the Slug, Fire and Brimstone, Fleabo's Quest, Sensible Train, Stop, Spot... I said that wrong three times. Spotting, Alien Breed, Hudson Hawk, or Lethal Excess. Also, can't activate the lightning gun. That's true. You can't use that. It's crazy, because I've been using... Yes, I've been calling it, basically, um, lightning. I've been saying it for years. Of course, yes, you, I found out. It's, it's not called lightning. It's surround. But, yeah, I didn't realise that. But, yeah. Crazy, isn't it? Right, Alien Breed and Stake the Slug. I'm not great at it. I have to admit, I've never been good at this one. I do prefer Alien Breed 2. Always have done. Always will do. But, of course, I know Ron is an expert at this game. Um, but anyway, this is well working. Thank you very much for King Arthur. Hello to J-Duck. Good to see you. Um, that's really cool. Ambitious, aren't they? You do what you can, and it works. If it works, can't ask you for that. Question. Uh, question? Okay, why not? What was the first game you played which featured aliens? Yes. Does it have to be Amiga? It could be whatever you want it to be. But what I do like about iGame is you can type it in. Fairly new to this. I have to admit, I'm fairly new to iGame. Um, how you doing, Jada? Good to see you. Alien Breed is your fave, yeah? Is that going to search? Hopefully so. I like that. I do like that. I have to admit, I do like that. Hopefully it will work. There we go. Boomba Pow. Laser Squad on Spectrum. Um, blue Tongue Lizards are the only reptile I know of who give birth to live young. Well, there you go. You heard it here first. You're going to have this issue because, of course, I'm using the OSSC. I got some baby salamanders in the garden pool this year. That's a wild as it gets in Belgium. One of my friends from work has actually gone to Belgium, actually. It's not going to help you, though, but you don't know who she is. <laughs> she is a she. But she's going to Belgium for the very first time. It's her birthday on Monday, so she's going to treat herself. Um, shame 1943 was poo on Amiga. I love it, too. I spotted a blue tongue lizard yesterday, but didn't have my phone ready to take a photo. Cammy, do you get anything over there which is poisonous? Like, really, really poisonous? Didn't you turn off the heart bubble? I'll give it a try. We'll do it now. Now, I did receive some instructions. Whether it's going to work, I don't know, but we'll certainly give it a whirl. Um, let's see. So, Control Shift J. We're going to try. We're going to try. Right, shut that down. Save. Yes. 
Right, let's give it a try. Bear with me, see if it works. Um, this is all new to me. All new to me. If it works, we'll give it a whirl. We'll stick with it, I should I say. Uh, yes, it's a nuisance, isn't it? It's a major, major pain. Right. Um, hold on a second, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yes, it's a major pain, isn't it? Control, shift, I. Is it still there? If it doesn't work, well, I'll try and figure it out for next time. Again, it's all new to me. Uh, I don't know if that works or not. Does that work? Um, thanks for watching. Only 30 likes. Thank you, buddies. I appreciate that. I don't think that's actually solved it, is it? Yeah, it's, it's a nuisance. I just don't know how to get rid of it. I'll look into it. Alien Syndrome on Atari ST. Never seen it or played on the Atari ST. Love the soundtrack. So intimidating and evocative. <laughs> Bending, doom and isolation. Yes, I had a very brief go earlier on today, SQ1. And I basically went to different locations on both occasions. One time I went to the way I went last time I streamed it. And the second time I played it, I went to an area we need a torch. And I blew these two generators up and the whole place exploded. So I guess you've got to try and do them in a certain order. I did one at the furthest point, second. So there you go. But yes, that heart is a pain, isn't it? Uh, I don't think I've played the Oasis version of this before. I uh, only got to the penultimate level of Tolkien 2 after a while, even when cheating. Don't say that. We don't say you're cheating around here. <laughs> cheating, how dare you? No, it's fine. It's all good. Yes, I've not played Tarkin for quite some time, but yes, I've finished all of them, but I've always preferred two. I think two is probably the, the easiest of the... No, I thought three was the easiest of the three, uh, but two was the first one I finished. Hello to Andres. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Yeah, this one... I don't, I, I don't dislike the game. I quite like the game. I just... I think it's probably my least favourite. This is so much reading. I just want to get back to the action, you know what I mean? And I get lost. I just get lost all the time. But I've never finished Special Edition, never finished the original, but I'm very close to finishing the second. I have reached level 14 of 17, which is not a bad achievement. But of course, it's the issue with explosions. But yes, it doesn't matter how many lives you've got, the place explodes, it doesn't matter. All lives are lost, game over, which I don't approve of. Which I'm assuming it's the same here as well. I'm assuming it's the same for all of them. Right, but yes, I don't really know what is the best approach, where's the best way to go. It's always guessing for a game like this. Music's good in this game, yeah. In the torch area, probably store one, and you need to blow up the second reactor, then the northern one, close to the next... Yes, that's what I didn't do first time. I was so surprised to actually get there. Of course, I've seen it online, seen it on your video, but yeah, I've never actually got there before, so that was the first. So, um, yeah. It was nice. I think it, it looks really cool. Love it. Uh, there are a lot of poisonous fungi uh, that grow around here. There are also loads of venomous animals. For example, we have two mammals who have venom. A woman was hospitalized with trying to f help one. What are they called? Always surrounded by lizards, and if you want to see something a lot bigger, I can go to the lake, which is two, four minute walk from here, to see alligators. Well, I've actually got a lake behind my house. Unfortunately, it doesn't... Well, fortunately, there's no alligators or... If it's poisonous. But yeah, it's got fish. Basically, it's just a basic fish. But yeah, what was the first game I played which featured aliens? And amazingly, it was actually the game Aliens on the Season 4. But I didn't actually manage to find one single alien in that game because I didn't know what I was doing in the game. Until I played it again in the year 2019, when I had it donated by Mr. Rusty James. And I managed to see an alien for the very first time. So that was quite cool. But yeah, that technically was the first game, even though I didn't actually see one. 
But yeah, I bought it from uh, John Menzies, and I played it, and I just couldn't get anywhere. Can you pass the first screen? But like, nightmare. To be ages get past that first screen, too. Um, when Jonathan and Jennifer got together, it was a moida. I guess it would be awesome. I love this. It's just love to live near lakes with crocodiles, but the coolest were the water dragons. Not the fire breathing ones, I hope. <laughs> yeah, we don't get anything like that round here. Not round here. Hope you're well, Andrew Dubline. Good to see you. Atari 2600 Space Invaders was mine, definitely. Um, the aliens and Zack McCracken. I still never played Zack McCracken. Jamie's breaking our hearts. Love the soundtrack, yeah. Yes, I will solve it. I will solve it. But yes, Alkenstein has been trying to help me, and uh, I really do appreciate that. But unfortunately, I've left it too late. I should have done it before the stream started. Um, hello, Sam M. Good to see you, buddy. Hope you are both well and happy, sir. Jasper was here, but he's now outside. I assume so. But it's not raining here in the UK, which is, makes a change. Um, hello, all mega stream. Nice. Hope you are good, Jamie. I'm good, buddy. Working tomorrow, unfortunately. Uh, the Pelopus and the Echidna are the venomous mammals. They also both lay eggs. The lady was hypothesized and handed a patapus. I've never seen a patapus. Only on the internet. Because I think I remember what they look like. Yes. They've got a long, flat tail, haven't they? It's a beak. I think so. Right. The problem with this game, when streaming this game, is I'm not really paying attention to reading the comments, and I get absolutely lost. Uh, before you leave this level, make sure you search the corpse near the crashed subtle area. Right. I'll try. Can't guarantee that. It's one of these games I should really sort of sit down and just, just keep trying and trying and trying and trying to figure it out. Yeah, I did prefer the second one a lot more. But that was the first one I played. Then I played Special Edition, then I played the first game. Then of course I played this. But the first one I played this was actually a CD32 demo, which you could put in at a different level. Hello Flynn, good to see you Flynn. Hello, good to see you. How you doing? And hello Mark Gordon, how you doing Mark? Are you working this weekend? Um, my first Alien game was probably the Space Invaders ripoff that was when you were a kid. Space Invaders Aliens. First time I played Space Invaders was the Invader Load, actually, which is of course on the C64. Which was before you play Waves of and Fist, which is an extreme wow factor, which you might have seen in my memories video. Yeah, that completely utterly took us by surprise. What a moment that is. To have to play a game while you're loading the game. That was cool. No, I have never played Zack McCracken. Never, ever, ever have I played it. No. Uh, do walk over the corpse. When they were first reported by biologists, everyone thought they were having a laugh. Working tomorrow and then I have a week off. Oh, really? It's your birthday? Ah, that's cool. Well, what day is it going to be? And you've got a week off, that's fantastic. I've got a week off in December, of course. That was the plan anyway. That's going to be the shelf week. Um, no problem, but I'm just, I'm, I'll, I'm always gonna get lost in a game like this. But yeah, we'll, we'll get there one day. We'll sure, I'm sure. Um, but yes, every time I play this game, I always go to different places every single time. It's one of those sort of occasions. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I'm all over the place. Um, it's very hard. It's very easy to get lost in this game. Yes, I mean normally, if I'm focused on the game, then yes, I'm okay. But of course, yeah, I think there is a map in this game, I'm sure there is. But yes, I've not read any of these yet. In the power surge, the science, the science doors will have jammed, and you'll have to destroy all ten generators in this outdoor zone in order to force the doors open. So basically, we're going to be destructive, haven't we? Um, you miss a lot of them, yeah, I'm probably going to miss quite a few things. Um, the moment I discovered Gauntlet, yes, Gauntlet's a good game. They all have a. That's all they've played on the Amiga back in the day. Long live version 1.3. So Gauntlet's the only one you've played. Wow. I mean, Gauntlet features on many systems, doesn't it? But yes, I have got it on the CD4. 
I have got it as a compilation on the PlayStation 2. Hello, Sean P, how are you doing? Uh, I guess this game isn't as good one to stream. It's difficult, yeah. Um, I'll figure it out by then. I'll get there one day, I'm sure. Once I know the pattern, I'll be all right. It's like Shadow of the Beast, you know, Shadow of the Beast 2, Shadow of the Beast 3, and uh, yeah, games like that. It just happens naturally now. You sort of know exactly where to go. You know the pattern, you know the, you know, where to go. Hello Daniel, I see you for a while, how are you doing? A fairly desolate area of the Connolly grounds. There is an entrance into the security facility to the west. The synth sound keeps reminding me of Terminator. Is anyone going to go and see the new Terminator? I mean, what is it now, seven? How are you doing Sean P, how's life treating you? Yeah, this is a 1200, yes it is. Um, yeah, Andrew Sublime, one of your favourite games. Is it a long game? I mean, being on the CC4, I don't know how many sides it's got. Probably quite a few, I imagine. But I'm assuming you have finished it, but yeah, I've heard so much about it. Do you know what? My cat is meowing. Hold on a second. Jasper wants to go outside. Where are you? Here, this very, very slight meow coming from the conservatory door. Yeah, he's there. Like it was a quiet game, we could hear him. Um. <laughs> it's a meow. Yes, I'm trying to keep all doors closed at this time of year. It's absolutely unbearably cold. Yes, it's going to be a new one. I mean, what is it, seven now? I mean, I haven't seen the last one. The last one I think I saw was Genesis, which I did buy on DVD, watched it once, watched it enough. I just think it's going too far now. Of course, I love the visual game. That's the visual games, the visual films. One, two, three, fantastic. Two cannot fault two. One cannot fault two. Three's got his moments, of course. It's all the uh, film in my book. Hello to Mikey. Good to see you, Mikey. How you doing? <coughs> Jamie Lee's stream for cat stuff. Yes, he wants to go out and have a pee. The Connolly's a prison facility. It took criminals from many Federation installations. Ironically, if anyone has survived this attack, the ones in the high security cells surely stood a chance. Two security systems in Tex. What in that physics are we all in this area? Uh, mind you, he is using his box, which is quite a good thing because, yes, he wasn't using the last one, but he has had it quite a long time. But he had took a gamble, £22 it cost me, but I think it was the right thing to do. If he's not using his box, where is he weeing? Is he going to be weeing in places he shouldn't? Yes, I know, it's crazy, isn't it? it just, you just think, how many more times are you going to keep making these films? And it keeps featuring Arnie, and Arnie's just, he's just, he's not as young as he used to be. You know, robots now age in this film, don't they? Right, so we've got to try and find a survivor, that's what I think. Uh, Flimbo's Quest, we're going to be playing that soon, buddy, yes. See, I've played the CD4 version more than the Mega version, but I do tend to get a bit more stuck, should we say, in the C4 version. So it's much difficult to tell what is ground, what is not, if that makes sense. Yeah, the colour palette makes it difficult to see what is bottomless pits. Mostly on the second level, but I have got to level 3 on the new version. I have played it quite recently. Don't know about Harley, he's a legend. He is a legend. He is exactly a legend. He is a legend. But fair play to him, you know, he's still acting, still firing all cylinders. But yeah, I just think with sort of um, Terminator films, I think that is it now. Don't, don't do any more, that's fine. So we've got to find a yellow, a red key, a green key, and a blue key. Yes, take care, Jasper, be a good boy. But I don't want to talk about that. Is this... This is 1200, yes. New terminal, you missed the news on that. Is Arnie in it? Yes, I believe so. Um, chasing the seals, you mean seagulls, man cave. Um, yeah, I'm good, buddy. Good to see you, Daniel. Hope you are well too. And man cave hobbies, hello, I didn't see you there. Hello, good to see you, Heath. Just back from Whitby with your drone. Flying over the sea, chasing the seals. Right, that's where the seal conversation comes into play. Right, gotcha. Talk about seals, it changed so quickly. Right, I gotcha now. <laughs> right, that's why. How you doing, Heath? Good to see you. 
So you miss a comment, really does make it a bit difficult, but you just lose track of what's going on. One minute we're trying to talk about one thing, and we're talking about something totally different, like seals. Terminator like Christmas movie. Yes, why has it never happened at Christmas? Gremlins happen at Christmas? Die Hard happened at Christmas? Believe it or not, National Pillion's Christmas Vacation happened at Christmas. We've never had Terminator at Christmas. Not yet, anyway. Um, hello to Cr Trolls. Hello, Trolls. Good to see you. Mancave Hobbies, good evening. How are you? Well? Hope, hope you're well. Oh, yes, of course, the strike, yes. Um, yes, I've heard quite a lot of updates with grading, or garden, should we say. Um, Deadpool 3, yes, that got delayed, put on hold due to the strike. You wouldn't have thought something like that would be causing strikes, would you? Because they earn a bomb, don't they? An absolute bomb. But even actors and actresses want this cash. Um... Santa Mater. Die Hard is an Xmas movie. It is an Xmas movie. It is. Whether they planned it to be, I don't know. Probably not. It's just it's just the way it went, really. Uh, what's the last film you guys have seen? I was going to go to the cinema the other day, actually, but fortunately I was trying to book the ticket on my phone and it failed to book. I had two attempts at it and I threw it in the towel. I thought, right, okay, you clearly don't want me to go then. So I didn't go. It was £15 a ticket though, which was quite a lot of money. Yes, even if it is a film I really wanted to see. But £15 for a ticket is quite a lot. Well, it was about 12 quid actually, but you get a booking fee, don't you? I think you shouldn't have to have a booking fee, personally. Ghostbusters, did you see the trailer for the new one? What's your opinions on that? Beetlejuice, I saw that at the cinema. Yes, I did. I get, yes, the first time I've seen it at the cinema. Of course, I've seen it multiple times on VHS and TV and DVD, but yeah, it was nice to see it on the big screen. The only issue I thought was the volume was a little bit too low. It should be a little more louder, but it was good nevertheless. But yes, it did go on my own. <laughs> and we saw the creator literally about a week before, and yes, that is like probably double the length of, of Beetlejuice. But it's been quite a lot of that recently. I think Elf is also going to be on the cinema. It's the 20th anniversary. Hello to Neptune. Hello, Peekaboo. I see you. How are you doing? Hello to France. You're very early today. How are you? Yes, yeah, it looks okay. It looks okay. I don't think it's going to be as good as the first one, but you never know, you know? I'm not sure if I like the idea of, well, the, the big freeze. It just reminds me of, like, uh, Day After Tomorrow. Which is a good film, nevertheless. Don't take nothing more than that. Right, we've got one key, we've got to try and find the other. Um, oh, we got, there we go. So we're getting somewhere, Ron, we're getting somewhere. Um, I'll see my close down recently. Leave, yes, leave a weapon. Leave a weapon, it's also a Christmas film, it is. You'll see my close down. Well, my old school one in Sydney Ball in Kent, yes, that also closed down. Right, we don't need the green key. He uses the green key. He opens the door for us. All right, that's what we need to do. We'll go with that. Um, Jamie, do you plan to subscribe to Netflix? And why not? Even if you're... <laughs> Someone at work keeps telling me about Netflix. I've never actually managed to uh, use Netflix. Not not, not once. Not, a, not not once. I should do it, shouldn't I? But I... I yes, I know. Have I gone the wrong way? Try to spend money on good weapons. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll solve it. I'll solve it. Right, but there's no enemies around here. This is what I've got early on today. I know you've got to buy uh, a map, haven't you? Well, we've got 38,800. So what would you say is the best weapon to buy? Um, not been to the cinema in ages. Last, we'd love to see John Wick 4. Mr. War, would you be surprised to hear if I would say to you I've never seen any of them? Uh, no, because of course it's exposed, it, doesn't it? I know that. Yes, don't buy it. Yes, I, and yeah, that bit I do know, yeah. Um, cinemas are dying. They are, oh, unfortunately. Last year I watched Goonies. There you go, fantastic. 
Absolutely fantastic. I cannot go wrong with the Goonies. Um, yes, it will start. And you have to leave the terminal. Yes. Been playing Robocop when you play some 5. It's awesome. Jamie, you need to buy it. I will buy it at some point. Um, yes, trailer's new. It looks alright. Don't think much of after. I don't think much of that one, though. Uh, Dal Cheney, good to see you, Dal Cheney. How you doing? Space Invaders on the tabletop arcade machine, 1983. The laser is okay. We'll go for a laser. Uh, go for low, because I do need to buy something else, don't I? I'm trying to save the cash, you know what I mean? Right, there's no enemies around here. So I've heard. Never mind. I think I remember where it is. I think so. Uh, hold on a second. No, it's not that way. Hold on a second. I sh should know. Hmm. What do you do when the place is about to explode? Go to the toilet. No, that's not the way to go, Jamie. Here, I'm guessing, but I'm fairly sure. Ish, ish. Woohoo! Lucky, lucky, lucky. Bathroom south of terminal. Then go north. Well, we didn't explode. Corridor 16. Hurry down the corridor before it blows. Right, we're not out of the woods yet. Oh my goodness me. Right, Ron, I've never got here before. This is a first. I'm not liking these symbols. The bad news went over, isn't it? Imagine this was two player. Yes, I know who the second game was. The first game, I don't know if it was or not. I actually have no idea. Um, I'm, I'm guessing we need a mask. I'm just, I'm guessing here. Uh, invisible ones. Well, it's gonna explode. No surprise, really. There we go. Uh, Sims are dying. That's not enough good modern foodies to watch. Well, there's been a few good ones recently that I've seen, but it's it's never busy. I can't remember the last time I went to a cinema and it, and it was busy. In fact, when I went to see Beetlejuice, it was there was more people at that one than it was like Indiana Jones or Sonic Two or the Creator. Um, it's crazy. People will rather go and see an an old film than see a brand new film. But yeah, I mean, it's good to see, and that, that proves a point, right? You know, the classics are the classics. The, the classics are the best. Um, Marvel DC have ruined blockbusters. Blockbusters used to come in so many shapes and sizes and genres, and it's just capes. Lots of memories when it comes to, uh, yes, um, blockbusters. Saturday was always blockbuster night when we didn't see our dad every single time. But yes, Ron, I will work on that a little bit more, I, will, I promise. Um... Which alien breed is this? Alien breed 2. This is alien breed tower assault. Yes. Using the long mouse. <laughs> right, hold on a second. Right, Steg the Slug was next suppressed. Another difficult game though. Um, do you know what? I keep doing that so many times. I keep pressing the wrong keyboard. Uh, fire lasers and that light button. Thank you. The power of nostalgia. Yet yeah, I'm bored of modern movies. Sean P, what was the last modern movie you saw? Um, the only superhero based thing I like is The Boys, as it's a massive, gruesome parody of the genre. Um, yeah, Nebshin, what was what ones have you played? Yeah, that's Tower Salt. We're going to turn the tables upside down. Go from Tower Salt being exploded to Stake the Slug. Take it easy, no wise at all, Quakers. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, good to see you, Mark. Hope you're well, buddy. Uh, Marvel and DC have ruined blockbusters. Yeah, I mean, it was a time when I was always up to date when it came to D 
DC and and Marvel. I mean, Marvel was, was you know fairly new to the scene. You know, I saw all of them, saw all the Spider Mans, all the X Men, and all that. Daredevil. I saw them all. Bought them all as well. And it just got completely out of control. Then it went on Netflix. It was Paramount Plus and Disney Plus. I completely utterly lost track. There's so many Spider Mans I haven't seen. So many X Men I haven't seen. I got completely utterly behind on that. So I just sort of see them in stages, really. But yes, a lot of people keep saying at work, I must get onto Netflix, but they don't know I've got a channel. That's the problem. So uh, this is what I spend most of my time. A lot of my spare time. In fact, I've had the last two days off work. Today and yesterday I was off. Yesterday I did the intro. Uh, and I tested a few games out. I also did another thing as well. I was editing something else. And today I was getting ready for the stream. So yes, yeah, my spare time is up by doing content for the channel. Joker, I think Joker 2 would be good. Yeah, I did, sit, I did buy the first one. No problem at all. I'm not as good as you, SQ1. Um, Joker was pretty good, but the endless superhero things are wearing. Yeah, there's so many, isn't there? Any Breed to Terror Soul is one of those you want to sit down and practice. Exactly. And definitely study the maps. Exactly. Hall of Lights is a good resource of map. Yes. Exactly. I do like the game, like I say, I've got a box version in the other room, but yeah, I've never really sort of sat down and spent time on it. <laughs> but there we go. Right, okay, stick the slug. Um, now this, of course, you might have seen on my 10 missing games video. But yeah, this one I did have as a box version, but this one got stolen, basically. It was in Dad's garage. And I lost about, I think six of them got stolen, I think I remember. And the other ones just disappeared off the face of the earth. But this is one of the ones we used to have. And yeah, I went through a bit of a Codemaster spell. Come on, baby, light my fire. Come on. Come on. But it's difficult. Only recently have I, I have reached level six on one separate occasion. Um, but basically, what you've got to try and do, I'll try and explain it to you. This one's a bit more easy to explain, but you've got to try and feed your young'uns, basically, by feeding them maggots. Now, we do this by blowing bubbles. The problem with this is it actually does drain your energy if you hold your breath for too long. And also if they pop, of course, no dice. But these young'uns, you've got to try and save a certain quantity on screen. Which tells you at the bottom corner of the screen, their current health. When they're sleeping, they've had enough, and they're good to go. But when they start to die, you see like little tombstones appear above their heads. <laughs> but of course, it's always easy at the start. You expect that. Um, right, next question. But yes, I'll say this is actually more of a puzzle game, but it is a platform game. Um, right, this is, like, this is actually a question by SQ Rom. What's the most difficult puzzle you've solved in a video game or have heard about any system you like? Now, there's quite a few games I've actually finished, and there were some very difficult sections in those games. But yeah, it doesn't have to be a mega, it could be whatever you want. But yeah, this is also a very difficult game. It took me quite some time to get past this next few stages. But yeah, six is the furthest I've reached. But you do get a password system. The problem with this game is your... Well, your energy doesn't really drain. There's not actually many things that kill you in this game. But your babies, the juggins, their energy just drains very quickly. And yes, you feed them one maggot. It doesn't actually... Replenish all their energy and it sort of takes a little bit off of it. But if they're close to death, you're going to get a lot of maggots. But of course, you can go up the ceiling on top of the wall and all that. Yes, lemmings. I mean, there was one in my Mayhem uh, video which you've got to try and rescue all of them by only using builders and uh, floaters. I used, I tried doing both things by switching from side to side. That was difficult. Of course, there's difficult levels on Bill's Tomato game, but of course, you know, I played it so much. Same as Lemmings as well. Uh, we watched uh, Robot, that's a good film as well, recently, and realised that sci fi is a genre that's been completely neglected by Hollywood these days. Love to see a completion of AMB. Yeah, maybe in the future. Maybe in the future, buddy. Where can you watch Benny Hill and Mr. Bean? I do like Mr. Bean. Cannot go wrong, Mr. Bean. Uh. Good old videos. Oh my goodness, mate. Mr. Bean. Uh, got that one. 
the Terrible Tales of Mr. Bean. We've got the Exciting Escapades of Mr. Bean. The Merry Mishaps of Mr. Bean. And the Amazing Adventures of Mr. Bean. I have got the yellow one, but it's in my mum's loft. But yes, the classics. And yes, Benny Hill. I mean, it's a very iconic tune, isn't it? To Benny Hill. And of course, the Robocops are good as well. Do love the Robocop films. Now also, the bubbles can also be popped by certain things on screen. Uh, like spikes. Fire. I suppose you've got a little bit of a build some Mario game film to it, because of course you do have wind. But if you hold your breath for too long, like that, you actually do have your energy drain. <laughs> yes, exactly. I do prefer the earlier ones and the newer ones. I prefer the first film to the second film. They're both are good though. Um, something like that. Something like that, yes. I mean, there's only like two episodes per video, it's not a lot really. The guy, again, the guy at work, can't believe I've still got VHS videos. He said, do you still watch them? I said, of course I do. Of course I do. Anyway, this was requested by Alkenstein. Never played it on the C4 before. Mel Gisoid, that boss where you need to switch the joy pads. Yes, um... I forget the name, I forget the name. Yes, I know what you mean. It's a clever idea, isn't it? But basically, you've got to try and... You, got, you put the joypad in port 2. So basically, is it, um, you can't read your mind. I can't remember the name of the character, though. Um, Psychomantis, that's the one. Yes, do have that. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. But yes, you, I don't know if you can do it with port 1. I'm assuming you probably can if you're really clever at the game. Uh, I'm going to write this code down. So, H D P F U. V L C C M. Yeah, and also the bit, the torture sequence, also quite uh, tough to do as well, isn't it? Um, but yeah, clever idea. Really difficult to level in Millie and Molly on CD4. I think it'd be level 38. Not played it. Pipe Mania is good, so I bought that on the Amiga. I've also got it on the PlayStation 2, actually. My lord! <coughs> Got Pipe Mania 3D on the PlayStation 1. It's okay. It's not great. It's okay though. But the Mega version's better. Not played it on the CG4 before though. Um, Love DCSG and Voyager. Right. This one, we've got to try and deactivate the spikes. Now, Apple will replace your health. Um, right. Yeah, some sections you've got to try and set them up there and get up there and push it with your head. Yeah, I do like, I like puzzle games, but the trouble is with puzzle games, you get so addicted to it. Like Pushover and One Step Beyond and Lemmings, of course. Very easy to get hooked on a game like that. Right. I'll admit, it's... What is your favourite game, Boulder Dash? Judging by your name, though, probably is that, I expect. Could be Boulder Dash, isn't it? Never tried the Boulder Dash construction kits. If that is still a thing. Um, really struggling with Psychomantis. I was really happy with the final. Yes, I think everyone probably died on it first time, and then yes, it was a clever idea though, isn't it? No one would have thought of doing that. I mean, why would you? But yeah, I don't know if this is a platform game or a puzzle game. I'd say this is probably more of a puzzle game than it is a platformer. But yes, you technically are on a platform. Um, it's more of a puzzle, I'd say. Right, one is still a little hungry. That's fine. Micro Picross. Not, I don't know that one. And Tetris. Yes, Mrs. Warragui on that one. You cannot go wrong with a little bit of Tetris. Never played a single Metal Gear Solid game. Wow. I mean, I have got Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3, and 4, but 4 I did play the least. But yes, I did finish one on PlayStation 1 quite quickly. I was addicted to that. 
Do you have a VHS converter or connected to your Super Ultra TV? I don't. I don't. But of course I can, because I can just use the OSSC or the HD video converter. Oh, that's a good game, yeah. I should have guessed that, really. Right, I think one of them's going to die. I don't think there's going to be enough maggots to get up there. At a certain level, we've got to try and rescue a certain quantity. But yeah, unfortunately, one died. We, Jamie, <laughs> you talking French. Um, you had over 1,000 VHS tapes. Took them all to the tip years ago. No! VHS for life. You're French. Can I have two? Uh, they were all stinging on VHS, putting two episodes per set. Yeah, they could have put a lot more. I mean, yes, you probably could get at least. I mean, yeah, that's 60 minutes. So you probably could get three episodes on there. Easy. Absolutely so. X-Files 2 on VHS, only in boxes and like five takes per series. And Angel and Buffy. Yeah, I didn't really get into Buffy and the Vampire Slayer, but I did see Buffy the film. That was good. That was a 90s film, I think it was. That was good. I don't think you can get it on the, um, region 2 though. Robocop is decent. Uh, remember the blockbusters? That good. I uh, barely decent sci fi for donkey years. Yeah, Star Trek Discover was awful. High t school teenager crew was a joke. Um... Yes, we, oui, yes. Right, we'll do a few more. Let's see about that question though, Jamie. But yes, there are some very, very difficult levels, of course, on Lemmings, which of course you expect. And pushover, so it's quite, yeah, it's quite some proud moments to get past some of these difficult levels. Yeah, she was, she was a bit, yes, yes, not gonna lie. Right, I've got to try and put platforms in place. Um, but yeah, you've got to be quite quick in this game, because yes, if... Basically, you've got to try and feed them very quickly. They die very quickly, very easily. But yeah, spikes don't actually harm you. At all. Flames do, though. But falling from a height harms you, and holding your breath for too long harms you. Alright. There's not many games where spikes doesn't harm you, but holding your breath does. You had a piano, keys, loud machine. And a keyboard. In fact, I've still got a keyboard. Um, Dungeon Master and especially the add-ons on Chaos Strikes Back had some difficult s puzzles. Dungeon Master, yeah, I know you're a big, big fan of those sort of games. I've got Solid Snake. <laughs> that doesn't sound good, does it? Um, Neptune, I don't know what you're saying there, but I'm sure it's very good. I think some of the puzzles in Shadow Beast 2, yes. F finishing Shadow Beast 2 without cheats is, is a very, very pleasing moment. Yes, that's quite buzzy, isn't it? And yes, Tetris. Can I go on a little bit of Tetris? I mean, Mr. Raw is a big, big fan of Tetris. Did you have the original Tetris on Game Boy back in the day? I'm assuming you probably did. Right, put the f right this is a difficult level. I've not actually got past this one before. But maybe it's good ground, though. But you also get other additional skills, you get the robotic legs, you get a jetpack. Yes, even a f slug can fly. But yeah, if you don't get off to a good start, you ain't gonna get anywhere, because it can change so quickly. Um, place your energy, that makes you faster, that makes you fly. Good combination. No. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So who's played this game? How far have you got? I've messed that up, good and proper. Um. Yeah, it's been a piano at school. Yeah, I think all, all schools did really. Nice, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Did you read it? This game had more than one tune. Mess this one up, good and proper. I always do. The Philips Video Star. My VHS was a Philips and it was a remote, a wide remote. So my first ever TV did not have a remote. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, yeah, Richard, you had to get up out of the bed to turn to and change the channel. Saturday morning television. Never heard of Snails game, no? Uh, YouTube ate the name I pinged. Um, Flynn and I were saying that there's no French streamer who plays on Richard Systems like the Amiga. That's cool. I also had all my... Well, it's not cool for you. <laughs> I hope there is some uh, French Amiga playing channels. Um, do you plan to buy films on DVD or Blu-rays? I've got a few do uh, Blu-rays, Zedo, but the problem is with that is I don't want to buy more ever again. I think I've probably got about 12. Um, and I've got about... I don't know, lots of DVDs, but yeah, I don't particularly want to buy them all again. I bought them VHS, then buy them on DVD, then buy them Blu-ray, and of course you've got 4K. It's quite expensive, but yes, I suppose going on Netflix is certainly a quicker and easier task, I suppose. But yeah, no plans for Blu-ray yet. But I have bought a few of my favourites, some of them anyway, on Blu-ray. Right. There we go, stick the slug, not too shabby. Got level six, I think it was. Not too bad, not too bad. Right, I think Mr. Raw requested uh, Flimbo's Quest, I think it was next. <laughs> um, DVDs for, I, I, I still think DVDs are good. I mean, yes, it does, it's not perfect, it'll never be perfect, but it's okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, yes, if you've seen a really old film, you might see a little bit of, you know, distortion. Probably. I haven't actually technically counted them, actually, but yes, maybe I should. I don't know what I've got more of, really. DVDs or games? Or CDs? It's probably quite high as well. But yes, I mean, if I didn't have all this stuff, I would have a lot of space. And yes, someone at work did say I should get rid of all of it, but no, I would never, ever do that. I mean, Spinner's House, have you got much physical versions? I know you've got DVDs. How many DVDs would you say you've got? Oh, okay, you know, quite a lot then. Assuming by that, so you've got quite a lot as well, I imagine. Yes, Freebird's Quest was on the Mega as well, yes. When searching for a game, just type in the first few letters and press enter. Hello, Desmond79. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Um, yes, I should do that. It's a habit, though, isn't it? Yeah. No, no, I, I shouldn't. But it's good practice, I suppose. <laughs> nice music in Freebird's Quest. Yes, I have played the C4 version a lot more. Um, do you have an external HDD and MP3s and MP4s? No, I don't. I don't. In fact, it's probably not going to work. I've probably, probably missed the, the digit on the end. Um, no need to type the whole name. How you doing, Daz? Good to see you, buddy. Flimbo, isn't the C4 version better? I think it is. To be quite honest, I think yes. I mean, some games, I'd say the Mega is better than the C4. And some games, I think the C4 is better than the Mega. But still very good. But yes, trying to think of the samples. But yes, um, Dominator, I'd say it's better on the C4 than it is on Amiga. Watch the, uh, the story, shall we? Um, Denaris, I'd say it's better on the C4 than it is on Amiga. Um, Exelon, it's better on the C4 than it is on Amiga. Cybernoid, or is better on the C4, I'd say. Stormlord is better on the C4 than Amiga. All good games though, but yes, yeah, some games are certainly much, much better on the C4. And this is a good game as well on Amiga, but yeah, I think C4 is probably a little bit better, I'd say. Right, oh yes, I've not played it for a while. Um, right, what is your favourite games by System 3? Any system you like. Let me know if it's... Well, it doesn't sound really loud on my headphones, not gonna lie. Main next of noise. Just realised the other day I actually had an intro screen. Keep changing these screens all the time. Myth, yes, I mean... One of favourites of SQ, um, one of favourites of Kite 66 gs Yes, Wizball, I think it's better on the C4 than Amiga. Absolutely agree with you there. You prefer it? Yeah, I mean, some uh, Houston consultants weren't great on the Amiga. They're okay, though. But yeah, Cybernoid does look very good, actually. I do have a box version. I have got one.
Yeah, screw up the Amiga. Sorry about the green though. It's, mm, quite powerful green, the screen this is, isn't it? Mint. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. How long does this go on for? <laughs> Got games to play, loads of games to play. Wow, we'll do it again. IK Plus, yes, I had a feeling someone was going to say that quite quickly. Um, I could load Flipper's Quest. Yes, the music is great on CD4. Unfortunately, YouTube won't allow me to use it. I get copyrighted every single time. It's a shame. It's a really catchy song, isn't it? I do like it. Um, Outrun, yes. Better on the CD4. Yes, not too bad. Need to sort out the 500. What you got to do to your 500, Dasman79. Also known as Mega Man. Um, no, Flimbo was also on the Mega as well. Might have been on else. I was, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. What else was it on? Let's have a phone. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, do you listen to J... Uh, I do not listen to music at work. No, I don't. Unless I had headphones on. We do actually have a radio at work, actually. We listen to... Um, um, Absolute Radio. Which is actually a very, very good um, station, actually. Right, it's also available, bear with, bear with, um, Commodore 64, Amiga, Atari ST, MCBC, and the Spectrum was produced, but was never released, so there we go. Not many versions then, not many. Um, Shadow Beast 1, probably better on Amiga, yes, it's the best on Amiga, it's superb, great memories of that one, of course. Got it, January 1990. Right, go in the door. Sort this screen out. Right, give that question. Uh, need an assistant with this. Need an assistant. Uh, yeah, IK Plus, cover issue with CC4 and Super Express into Tune. Really? Yes. Putty, great game. Putty, love that one as well. There was some zoom in and out effects in the intro screen, I remember. Uh, best decision thing game, IK Plus, for Swedish House as well. Uh, no decent computer versions of OutRun. Need to add a 1 megabyte RAM and a HDD to replace the floppy drive. Oh, I see. Are you going for a GoTech drive or anything like that? Right. Is it shot? That'll do. So, yes, I haven't played it much. Not played the CD4 version much either, but I certainly did play that version more than this one. But basically, what you're trying to do is go from side to side. Quite a lot of games, you had a choice of which way to go. But yes, you've got to try and find the required item, which in this case is an enemy. And then take it to your master or wizard, whichever way you want to look at it. And he will reward you with one of the letters you need. But each level, you've got to try and find a certain quantity of characters. But you can also upgrade your powers by using money that you find by killing certain enemies. Once you've got it, you get a scroll, take it to the door. But yes, your weapons at the start is quite poo, it always is. But you can also jump down screen. Yeah, a really cool game, I do like it. But yes, I still think the Seaval version is a better game. But I still think this is also a very good version. But I didn't play any of them back in the day. It took me ages to play this one. In fact, it was requested a long time ago, but I'd never heard of it. So once you've got it, press up in the door, and this is where also you can buy additional items. Yes, Chase HQ, I've got it on the CD4 and the Amiga as box, yes. Myth is good, and the intro is scary, yes. Yeah, IK Plus is great, only good real karate game I've played, actually. Mark Gordon, you should try um, Wave of Spoon Fists. And International Karate is also another good game on the CD4. Um... There you go, intro as well, yes. This putty is fantastic. Hello, Jonathan McD, good to see you, buddy. Hope you're well. I don't know any System 3, to be honest. You might do, uh, Sean, um, after reading some of these. But yes, putty, that was probably one of the first ones I played. That and IK+. Plus. Kid gloves, I love kid gloves. Do love kid gloves. Have reached level four. Uh, but I've not finished the game. I think it's got about six levels, I think. Yeah, after getting a box version of that, I did learn a few things about that game. I did actually know about the button that allows you to go back four screens. Because in certain sections, if you use all your additional magic, or your additional bombs and keys, you've got nowhere to go, you can actually press a certain key, and it takes you back four screens. Yes, it's giving you more work to do, but of course, it gives you another chance to try and get it right. Because you can buy additional magic, buy additional weapons. But a really good weapons does take quite a lot of money to, to get them, really. 
but it's only really going to happen in the later levels. Thank you very much indeed, I appreciate that. Yes, Myth, I mean Myth on the CD4 and Myth on the Mega really, really, really confused me back in the day because I, I thought there was two different games because your character was so different on each version. Uh, on the CG4, you, you look more of a sort of, you know, guy wearing blue trousers and this is just modern times, really. And of course, the Mega version is totally different. Oh, time, look at that. So I just get thinking it was two different games. And of course, two different titles. Um, but yeah, no myth is one of Crisis G's favourites on the CG4. But I played the Mega version at absolute death, and it was difficult to try and adapt to CG4 version due to the difference of controls. His jumping is quite awkward in the CG4 version, I thought. To jump forward, you press down, I think. Yes, I can understand that. I can totally understand that. The memories of it, yeah. But it was a nice effort, of course. Now, we've got to try and find the snail. Have you finished it without cheats, Mr. Heath? Um, reminds you of Seven Gates of J Jambala, which I prefer, to be honest. Guess what? I don't know that one as well. Of course, Last Ninja. Yes. That was also System 3. Yes, good one. Of course, you had the Ninja Remix, which is not bad. But yeah, the music on the CD4 was, was absolutely top draw, wasn't it? By Ben Daglish. And the music on the second game as well. Uh, was it Matt Gray, wasn't it? It was also really, really good. But of course, yes, YouTube doesn't really allow me to use that one as well. Do you tend to get copyright on that one? Right, I've got the scroll, open the door. You need three letters. Hello, Joan. Hello, um, Tiger Sweet. Tiger Sweet 79. Putty Squad, yes, it happened very, very late, didn't it? Yeah. Hope you're well, good to see you. You're both here. Um. Yeah, you did play Amiga back in the day, didn't you? Remember you saying? Right, that was interesting, because that wasn't the right colour. But there we go, we've got it. We've got the scroll. Luckily, we're not too far away from the exit door. And we also need to upgrade this pew 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 bullet we've got here. You're everywhere. You're here, there, you're everywhere. Level completed. Uh, right, time bonus. 24 times 150. Um, myth, I'm getting confused with mist. Well, that's, that's, that's okay. I can understand that. Do you not know it's on the Mega? So there we go, everyone's learning today. But yes, on the CG4, I mean, it's quite difficult to try and tell what was ground and what wasn't. But on this one, it's very self-expansionary. But yeah, what tends to kill me on this one is enemies coming out of the doors. You don't really sort of get much of a, an inkling of where they're going to arrive. They're just walking past a door. Good, like Navy Seals, that sort of thing. You tend to walk right in front of them. Um, Myth was on the Amiga. Myth was on the PC. It certainly was. But I've not played Myth. Only Myth I have, of course. Finished it many, many times. Both great games, but just just doesn't have a lot of music, really, does it? Um, yes, yeah, Swedish is here as well. Yes, another familiar face. Oh, was that the right dude? No, it wasn't. Interesting. Um, yes, Party Squad was good. Did you get far in Party Squad, uh, Mr. Gumjo? Of course, that was also... Release on modern system, wasn't it? Which I did play. There was a demo I played ages ago. But like Super Fox, that also had an updated version, which was as good in my personal opinion. It should be for the, the original, really. But yes, it was okay. But I think it eventually got removed, didn't it? God got calm, it was. Yes, don't tamper with the originals. Right, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, Myth, I had a demo, and I didn't really know what, what I was supposed to do on that demo. I did sort of get, you know, parts of it done, but I couldn't get the final last bit did. Didn't know what to do about that devil. Didn't actually realise, I mean, actually ages, don't realise you actually switch weapons by using the keyboard. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's quite an important thing, that is, Jamie. Is it really? There you go, I didn't know that either. I didn't know that. Can we buy another weapon now? 
Try the Seven Gates of Jambala, Jamie. If you like this, you'll enjoy it. I'll write it down. Probably won't happen today. Well, I'll write it down today. I'll certainly write it down today. Um, seven Gates. Make sure you spell it correctly, Jamie. Of Onslaught. We'll play that for years. Oh, yeah. Jambala. See, Jasper should be doing this. Help me out. Alright, upgrade. Hello, OSG. Good to see you. I remember being confused the first time I played Fimbo's Quest. I was like, who the heck is that angry f <laughs> Yes. It's basically a... Well, it's, it's, a, it's like a collect -em up isn't it? You basically just got to try and go and get the items you're asked to get, really. I don't know if it changes much. I'm not sure. But of course, yes, it's going to get more difficult. You expect that. I suppose each level, you can probably try and find more items. How are you doing, Paul? Good to see you. OSG. Um. Right, what do you want to see next, people? On the list. What do you want to see? Um, Fine Brinstone, which was recognized by Ox. Train Spotting by Quagers. Uh, Hudson's Fork and Lethal Excess was um, Alkenstein. We're getting through them. What time is it? 10 to, 10 to 10. Not too bad for time. Have you finished it yet? I haven't got past level 4... Uh, I haven't got past level 4 boss yet. But I haven't played it for a while. But my box version has arrived. Or case version, should we say. Oh, Spiky! Yes, that was requested by... Yes, it was. Um, Lord Infinity requested that one. Alright, yes, that's got to be played as well. Alright, Spiky, yes. Sorry, Little Infinity, I remember that now. Yes, we'll do that next. By Codemasters. Yeah, another game I'd never played before. Hudson's Hawk, give that another try. Yes, I'm going to try and get past the first level. I have done it a few times, but I don't think I've done it on stream. Jumping mechanics are difficult in that game. Can we go along with Lethal Excess? Go have some shooting marks, anyway. Jamie, why you got to. Twin World? Twin World? What's that? What's that? As you can probably tell by my comment there, I've never, never heard of it. Land of Vision. Does it have pirates in it? <laughs> Worms? Um, yes, I mean, it took me some time to get to grips with it, but I didn't, again, I did not play that one back in the day. I did play... Wow, even Leaf Weapon I didn't play till quite late. Um, but yeah, I saw the film loads of times. I mean, some things of the game do so actually correspond with the film. But yes, there are some crazy characters in that game. But yes, the jumping mechanics is very difficult. Um, Blues Brothers, again, it's similar, I suppose. But the jumping mechanics isn't as bad in that one. Right, I'm going to try and find this comical guy. Um, but yes, now we're finding a full length of the screen. So we've basically bought an item. Look what that one does. Ooh! That actually might make it quicker. It does! Lovely jubbly. Hello to Hound Dog, good to see you. Wings of Death? Yes, another fantastic game. That was also requested as well, but I didn't have enough time to play them all. But insane, I haven't played them all yet. But if I get time, just some Wings of Death. Right, level three. Right, we'll do Spiky next. <laughs> spiky. There you go, Egg-shaped boss. What are we going to try and find now? Well, that little guy, but not that one. I don't have the arrow above his head. Hope you're well, Hound Dog. Good to see you. How is life treating you? Unfortunately, it's the same tune throughout, unfortunately. That will do nicely. What was that? So you can't see that thing. <laughs> Andrew Dubline, you bought any more games recently? Uh, now, Wings of Death, I actually have finished, but only with using continues. Lethal Excess, I can't get past level four. And believe you me, I've had a lot of attempts. I just can't get past it. It's a lot more difficult than the first game. Uh, hello, Trent. Hello, Trent. Jay, good to see you. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Hello. How are you doing today? Love the blocks in level two. Blocks in level two. Right. Get to the exit. 
Last level, last boss. Doing very well then. I had a feeling that was a pit. I had a feeling that was. We don't lose a scroll though. Just lose a life. Right. Thanks for the letter. There we go. Um, I'm well, sir. Thanks for asking. I'm good to see you too. Level 2 of Reshoot Proxima 3. Uh, lethal Excess is also a very easy way to die. Yes, another game which I think is better without using auto fire. Because you guess, if you're going to use auto fire, you're definitely not going to get the fast rate of fire. You fire a lot more and just tap, tap, tap it like that. Of course, it's painful. Kill by an egg shape boss! Oh. One more, move on. Or not, just jump in the pool. Yes, how's life treating you, Hound Doggy? This game is very. Arcade, cute them up style. Um, of course, OSG, I like Winds of Death very much, in my honest opinion. It's the better than. You prefer that to Lethal Excess. Not too shabby. YouTube blocked my comment, I wish I'd say it twice. What comment was that? Who got voted out on Big Brother? Big Brother? My goodness me. I have not watched Big Brother in years. Absolutely years. Believe it or not. <laughs> No, that's definitely not for me. That and Streaky Come Dancing, Streaky on the Ice, all that sort of stuff. It's not for me. Not my cup of tea. Absolutely not. Right, okay, we'll go for Spikies. We're going to use it like this. It's quicker. Right, I'm gonna do, that's all I'm going to do. All I'm going to do. Have a drink. I need to get some water. Um, one of the few shoot 'em ups that you've completed. Um, really? Uh, thanks for asking, no problem at all. Have you played Robin's Requiem? Guys, you keep requesting games I haven't played, I haven't heard of. No, I haven't heard of it. What is that? I'll write it down, buddy. I'll write it down. Uh, Robin's Requiem. Never heard of it, buddy. Never heard of it. There you go. That's working brilliantly. Certainly speeds it up a little bit. Robin's... Requiem. Another game I'd never heard of until Sir Lord Infinity mentioned it to me. Had one go early on today, buddy. One go. But it was requested, so I'll do one's best. Spy vs. Spy, not played it on the Mega. Oh, this is the first time you've seen it. Oh, really? Wow, okay. Right, I'm going to give myself a quick drink of water. I'll be right back. Oh. <sighs> Need more space. Need more space. Yes, only played Spy vs. Spy. Oh, what happened there? I got off of my chair and moved the screen completely. I used the force. My oh, goodness me, the force is strong. My next trick? I don't know. What is my next trick? Don't watch TV, not done for 20 years. My goodness me. Do you know what? We've got actually got TVs in the canteen at work, but it's never they're never on. My last job, they did have TV, it was only on BBC One. Every time, it's always BBC One. <laughs> Hugo in Transylvania, yeah, where is he? Fact of Mega. Now, you cannot have music and sound effects at the same time. You've heard it all before, but I'll try and do it for you. We're gonna go try and make it possible. But yes, I suppose it's quite similar to Dizzy. Very much so. So what I've done is I did activate the music, recorded it separately, and you're going to have best of both worlds. Just can't find it. Where is it? There it is. Right, I haven't got far, buddy. I haven't got far. It does look a little bit haggard, doesn't it? Right, first things first. We cannot go through the door. There's no handle on the door. Now, to pick up items, you have to hold fire and press down. To put items down, you press fire and up. I might say that in the wrong order, actually. Pick up the doorknob. Also, pick up the gloves. We use the doorknob and the door. Press left and right to cycle through your inventory. Lost my doorknob. There it is. There's the doorknob. Right, the door creaks wide open. Yes, a little bit like him. Yes, very much so. A rip off. Yes. Right, we've got the gloves to go for the door. But yeah, I've not got far. But yes, 
quite a lot of things kill you in this game. Even rats and ghosts and bats. Don't eat that, that's actually... Yeah, it doesn't kill you unless your energy's low. But yes, anything that's food related with a worm coming out of it, avoid all costs. Right, we pick up a bag of gold. Right, you hide whole fire and press up. Yeah, but it does look a bit like Asterix, doesn't it? It does. Uh, question. Favourite game featuring Dracula? Uh, um, I don't know. Um, I mean, Dracula wasn't great on the Amiga. It was okay, but it certainly wasn't great. Um, can I say Rainbow Islands? That had Dracula in it, which is not a, an easy boss to get to. You have a limited amount of ammunition. Not got anywhere in this game. You've played it, have you? Of course, yes, you've played them all, haven't you? You did. You have. Yes, I remember. Right. Um, that's where we started. Now you can also replenish your energy by picking up good food, anything from apples without worms in it, to, uh, to bits of cheese and chicken. Now this guy, basically, on the subject of food, is absolutely starving. So basically we're trying to get him some food. Um, someone's going, who's going? Uh, never got anywhere in this game, Dracula X, Mr. Roar, don't forget Robocop tomorrow, I'm excited for you. Take it easy, Mr. Raw. Have a good one, buddy. No problem at all. Um, getting very tired in case I fell asleep. Thanks to everyone for making the stream awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Get some sleep, buddy. Your body needs it. Right, this guy basically will not let you get past. Hawk Stranger, I come. I can't come in here. It's a private property. So what we do is we offer him some money. There you go. All down to money, isn't it? This sort of game. Gives you money and he lets me go through. Snorkel Files, WordPress.com. What on earth is that? <laughs> I mean, mine was Bram Stoker's on the SNES. However, I always wanted Rise of Dracula on the Mega due to the advertisements for it in the Computer Max. The Mega CD FMV Dracula Unleashed looks good. Now, you can also get a crucifix in this game. I don't know if it actually protects you from bats or protects you from goats. I'm not sure yet, but we're we'll trying to hit that switch. Um. Right, bingo. Right, four lives. If I remember the right route. I'm assuming it's probably not a very long game, this one. Uh, also, got to try and rescue hostages. Prisoners. Probably the best way of saying it, really. Um, yeah, some of these guards will harm you and some will not. Right, you've got to try and find as many keys as possible. Uh, right, this is where we need, I think, the gloves. Yeah, take it easy, Mr. Raw. Have a good weekend, buddy. And thanks for being here. Always nice you being here. Uh, after we became home workers, after COVID happened, my office got three people machines and a pool table. Go figure, I can still play them when I go in the meetings. Yes, our work doesn't have that. We don't have people machines, we don't have arcade machines or pool tables. Yes, I'm quite jealous of that. Right, so we got the bell. You can't grip the rope, which is why we've got gloves. We've got to try and slip the gloves. Where are they? The bell rings loudly, deafening the bat. That makes the bat fall to the surface. Right, so we pick up the defeated bat. <laughs> but yes, I'm going to say, the game that features Dracula, I'm going to go for, um, yes, Rainbow Islands. Let me know when the music stops, I'll put it back in place. <laughs> right. right. Um, he is an awesome dude, he really is. Like the Fox tune. Castlevania surely has... Oh yes, of course. Yes, I've only played Castlevania 1. Super Castlevania. And I think I did play the one on the Amiga as well. Uh, right, switch. Switch, 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 switch. Don't fall in the lava, believe it or not. Instant kill. Um, can't jump in this game either. Can't crouch in this game either, either. That guy's just hanging around. Yeah, good to see you, Trent. Hope you're well. How has your week been? Pick up the torch. You cannot hold too many items, but a little bit more than Dizzy can hold. Right, we're trying to use some of these keys. Save a few prisoners. Hostages. 
prison sounds better. It's a prison cell. Thank you for rescuing me, comrades. And this version is king, a very awesome dude. I can't grip the rope because it's a chain. Yes, you need a pair of gloves. I can't remember how many keys you can hold. You can't hold all of them. Um, these rats are a nuisance. Oh. Quick shot, Count Duckula. I've never played Count Duckula, but of course I have seen the program multiple times. Another key, another rat, and the door. Here we go. The middle dungeon. Oh, you only want to save. This is called. This is called. Spiky uh, in Transylvania. Yes, yeah, Spiky in Transylvania. I think Spike is called Hagger in Germany, so I didn't know that. You have Hagger on the hard drive, Jamie. Yes, it's on the hard drive. Yes, this is a brand new uh, CF card. Thank you, just King Arthur. And my iGame is also working now. It wasn't working before. Oh, boom, stuck. Right, now this area is muddy. So we can't go past there, we need to find some wins and boots. Uh, Hagger the Horrible, very much like Hagger the Horrible. I don't know if it is, or it's just a really, really similar character. But no time limit, no time limit at all. But I'm trying to remember the right route. Um, count, count Quack Shot, Count Duck, or something like that, I can't remember exactly. Well, Count Duckula, of course, is a well-known cartoon back in the, the old, our young days. Of course, David J David Jensen, David Jason, sorry, <laughs> comments have said that, did the voice, as he did for also Danger Mouse. Sorry, David Jensen, it's got you in a major tangle there. <laughs> yes, I didn't know David Jensen did the voice of Duckula, I didn't know that. I don't think you knew it either. Right, so we've got to try and find... Food. Find a few more keys. Yes. Um, you always learn something new. I do. We do. We all do. Now this one, I don't think he harms you. I don't think so. One correct comic was called Hagar the Horrible. Yes, I remember Hagar the Horrible. I remember that one. Yes, definitely. How horrible he was, I cannot remember. Right, three lives. Not many. Have a key. Bingo. That is extreme. Um, right, trying to think. Where's the food? Ah, I know where the food is. It's down here. Down here, down here, down here, down here. Yes, Lord Infinity, I played it early on today. I didn't really, it wasn't really sure at first, but it grew on me. But yes, I, I got quite far, quite quickly, actually. But it's not having a time it does certainly make it a bit easier. But a good game, I like it. Um, Scooby-Doo, of course, yes, I watched that back in the day. I wasn't a huge fan of Scooby-Doo, and not many people were a fan of Scrappy-Doo. It's probably gonna kill me this, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't know really what to do there. You can't defend yourself, really. Just walk past them. But there's some chicken there. Get on the way back. Yes, I'm not sure if that's a bear or a, a reindeer. I'm not sure. It'd be an unusual one, isn't it? But yes, they're dropping whatever they're dropping on you. Um, right, there's some food. Not for me this time. It's a plowman's lunch. Basically, that guy that's starving, you give it to him. I guess my cat is quite peckish too, and his energy needs finishing. Pick up that, there you go. You needed to wait in the gaps between the chair. Oh, yes. Maybe. Maybe so. Yes, that's probably right. Didn't think about that. <laughs> yes, should I, should I, me, mean, shouldn't I? They're bigger than me. They're not bigger than me. Right, now we gotta go back. Familiar territory, which is here, isn't it? <laughs> you heard, you he heard. Yes, I got your mame a bit tangled up with somebody else's. Yes, basically David Jensen and David Jason. 
bit like Tiger Woods and Tony Hawk. I'm always getting those wrong. Right, he's hungry, he's starving. Right, we're going to give him some food because he needs it. How about a plowman's lunch? Have some of that. Um, let me at him, let me at him and splat him. Yes, of course. Scrappy do. Right, he gives you a pair of wings and boots. Sounds like a trade to me. Use that to get over the mud. <laughs> yes. Listen to Weird Dreams music, so good. Yes, I featured it in my last vlog. Um, I've probably stopped, we'll put it back in. But yes, having only sound effects, which of course is what I'm listening to, is a little bit quiet. I am not completely lost, you must have played this before. I have only played it once today. Only once today. But, I have got one life. But, hmm. It's not too bad, actually. It's not too shabby. Yes, yeah, so this house said a similar thing to me when I first streamed Goblins, which was quite a few years ago, and he said, You've only played this once or twice? I said, Yes, I have. He said, You're getting quite far. I said, Yes, I am. <laughs> yes. But I did have a demo back in the day as well. Right, is this the right route? Catwalks on the keyboards. Yes, uh, Jasper does that. Um, yeah, that was ages ago. Right, we've got the wings and boots. We walk over mud. There you go. Pick up another key. Do another door. Use key immediately. Rescue another prisoner. <laughs> I rescued her. Um, the thing is, my brother is a very tough bloke. Now he. So it's really funny. I've missed a few things here. Um, Jamie does this in a speed run away. My voice is only for Scottish accents, not Count Duckula. My big brother was scared of Scooby Doo. He used to hide behind the sofa. It's always Scooby Doo that was always scared. He was scared of everything, even his own shadow. We still wind him up about it today. Scrappy was an irritating little. You finish the subject. You finish the sentence. You waited. You need to wait for the gap. I that twice, didn't I? I wish the developers of this game was here. This looks like Hagger. Is it Hagger? You love Hagger. Tim Pilot! I didn't see you there. Hello, Tim Pilot. You just sneaked in there. How are you doing, Tim Pilot? Good to see you. Uh, Hagger the Horrible was a Sun comic strip I pay by the paper. My lord, there's so many comments here, people. Um, yeah, good to see you, buddy. How was Pussycats? And how are you? I mean, yes, I'm guessing this game is quite large, but, you know, it's handy you can hold quite a lot of items, and now we don't need the Wellington boots anymore. Where are my Wellington boots? I put them down. I've lost my boots! Where's my boots? Jamie, they're on your feet, you plonker. Walk over the mud, then put the boots down. There we go, we don't need them anymore. There we go, that's why we can't use them. We've got them. On my feet. I, though, was pronouncing Hagar. Hagar. <laughs> Ren? That's from Ren Stimpy. Now he doesn't harm you. I'm not sure what we've got to try and do there. Andy Cap was funny. I think I've missed quite a few things on this chat. Right, so what do we have? What do we have? We've got a key, a defended, offended. Right, now that you give to a wizard. Uh, you need two items. A bat and the blood of a toad, I think it was. I'm not sure I remember where it was. I would love to do a place in five stream. I really would love to do that. Yes. Yes, I would like to, yes. Maybe get a few more games first. But yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, two items, a bat and a man. <laughs> I like what you've done there. Um... I haven't found a crucifix yet. There's got to be a way of getting, not getting killed by ghosts. I know I streamed Ghostbusters last stream, but yeah, they're not going to help me here. Uh, how of it spelled, exactly. <laughs> Ren Rokes, was a he was a chihuahua and Stimpy was a cat, yes. 
not sure what this does. It's got to be a purpose for this cannon here. Um, right, last life. Too many rats in my liking. Yeah, cannot go wrong with Red and Stimpy. Now, you can't go in here, you need a tie. If you heard right, you need a tie. Sorry, darling, you can't come in here without a tie by order of the king. Go under the stag and up the stairs. Okay. I'll try to. Life is very short supply. Have you finished it on another system? I'm assuming you've played it on CC4 or Spectrum? Uh, I've gone past it. But the princess is her castle, yes. My lord. The meanie, right? Go for all that work. Wrong castle. What's your favourite place in five games so far? I'll, I'll give you one guess. Have one guess. How well do you know me? <laughs> That's a huge giveaway. I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. Ashley Hogg is a great musician. Yes, it's our type final three. Yes, you are correct. Yes, it is. There you go. You are correct. So this is where the wizard is. So unfortunately, we've only got one item, but I think the other one is up here somewhere. Yes, our type is my favorite game of all time. Our type final is my face. What the? <laughs> my favorite PlayStation Two game of all time. Our type Delta is my favorite PlayStation One game of all time. PlayStation Five is my favorite game. Our type final three. Shocking, isn't it? <laughs> right. Oh, they're not too bad. Didn't get too far. No, I actually got quite far. Uh, <laughs> yes, you remember that goblin stream? Yes. Yes, I have finished it. I did a long play, but I never finished it. Well, I did finish it. I never got, never uploaded it. That was quite a few. That was like two years ago. Um. My Chihuahua reminds me of Scooby a lot of the time. Yeah, Zajak, how many games do you have for PlayStation 5? Lord Infinity, we have two Chihuahuas under 1.5 years old. I actually hated little dogs, so we got them and they are more dog than any dog. Are they loud? Are they loud? Right, uh, how about a bit of Hudson Hawk? <laughs> I'll type without guessing, exactly. Um, it's, it's so easy, isn't it? Absolutely easy. What about R-Type on Ice? If there was a game called R-Type on Ice, I would definitely want to play it. Yes, but yes, I do like... Um, I mean, every game I've bought on... Every game I've bought on the... Um, on the PlayStation 5. I, I like them all. Um, they're all very good. I've only finished... Uh, well, I've finished Ratchet & Clank... Uh, I've got to try and finish that again because, of course, you know, unlock everything. Not got very far in uh, Grand Turismo 7. I've got two more licenses to get hold of. Um, R Type Final 3, I've played loads. Finished that quite a few times. I've unlocked everything in Joe and Matt Caveman Ninjas. Um, I've also unlocked everything pretty much, apart from one trophy in Turtles, which is also very good. Rayman, the first Rayman, no. Rayman Origins, Rayman Legends, yes. Yes. Yes, I bought that ages ago. It's really, really good, but very difficult, I thought. But yes, Rayman Legends and Rayman Origins, I did play through quite quickly. And I was absolutely addicted to that. But yes, that is good also, but very difficult. I didn't know how long the game is. Probably quite long. Uh, have I played Star Glider? Not for a while, but I'm pretty sure I have. Um, yes, I played R-Type Leo. But it was a long time ago. I do have it on my retro bit. Um, but I can't remember where we found it. It was an arcade venue we went to. I found it. I didn't actually realise the game existed. But yeah, I was with my dad, played it, loved it. And I just cannot remember to this day where it was. 
but yeah, I do have it on the retro bit, but unfortunately the ROM is incredibly buggy. Um, the music is really just all over the place. But I would like to get a MISA in the future. I really would like to get that. Not for Amiga, not for CG4. It's going to be other systems, really. Like MSX and Amstrad and Arcades. That's the main focusing point, which I really want to get one for. Uh, but yeah, quite long story short, not finish that Rayman. Um... Yeah, should have finished on C4 both back in the day and recently and was pretty amazing for a second go. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. What's happened to the music? Well, hopefully it wasn't too overlapping each other. There was a new art type that's been released for Mega Drive. Yes, I saw the trailer. How am I going to get it to work? I don't know. I have no idea. R type lemonade. Yes, if there was a drink called R type lemonade, it would be my favourite lemonade. They need to re make more Product X's. Well, Product X2 was going to be on the C32 originally, but of course, then of course, the direction it took, it went on the PlayStation 1, which we already do have. But the USA version is a lot more easier than the version that we got in the uh, in Europe. On oh, the Mister, that's the plan. Yes, that is the plan. Never played Elden Ring or the other one, uh, Mister Kite G. I have finished Od Odyssey, but I've not finished Apes Exodus. Uh, Hot Talk reminds me of Abe, the dog chasing you. Yeah, and also the one in Assassin, just bite your legs off. Whew. Um, except in Abe's, it's a weird alien dog head thing. Uh, Scarab? Is it Scarab? Can't keep getting them, James. Leave it. Leave it. <laughs> uh, yes, they, they're quite vicious in that game. Yes, they are. Hello, Robert Gray. Good to see you, buddy. How are you doing? Right. Uh, good to see you, Robert Gray. I hope you're well. How's life treating you? How's the leg? I'll get some shots. I'm sure you know what this game is. It's a game I'm still trying to finish. But still quite a lot to do. It's not a scarab. What one is it then? Is it a parasite? A parasite? Is it a parasite? I think it is actually. Yeah, scarab's a big one, isn't it? Yes, but they're all big, really, aren't they? It means that to get you in that game. Uh, seems a strange film to turn into a game. And also, your weapons in this game is a boxing glove and a baseball. Yes. Which brings us to the subject of the next question. What is the strangest weapon you equipped in a game which you have played? And even though the... I don't know why the baseball and the boxing glove comes into play. I'm pretty sure it doesn't feature in the film. But yes, I'm not a fan of bouncing bullets. Never have been. Yeah, quite a lot of games do have bouncing bullets. Like Naughty Ones and... Uh, Hard and Heavy. This one. Kid Gloves. I'm not a fan of bouncing bullets. But yes, it's quite unusual to have these specific weapons. Don't think you get any more though. But I'm interested to see what ones you've played, which is, which is quite unusual. Now, whether it's actually a default weapon or one you pick up, I'm not sure. <laughs> a concrete donkey, of course, it's worms. Worms dressed as cut. You must be so good at that game now, Swedish. But I do like the original. I've always liked the original the most. Just limited weapons. The banana bomb worms? There's going to be a lot of worms uh, answers here. That's what, makes it, that's what makes it what it is, isn't it? Right, so we've got to try and get into the window. This is also a game with a time limit. But some levels is not too bad in terms of time. But yes, you can, the jumping mechanic is so difficult in this game. It really is. You can't jump up and down on the spot. Every time you press up, you jump forward. But also, if you land... He sort of does this sort of crazy movement, which makes you slide. So it's just difficult to try and keep him moving to the spot. <laughs> time limit. Yeah, not a fan of time limits. Uh, Toki, of course, yes, shooting bullets from your gob. All that. Dubster, gun in Saints Row. That's gone straight over my head. Uh, I have got Saints Row 4. Now thinking about it, but it's sealed. Uh, never played it. 
Or is it three? It's one of the two. It's all just worms, isn't it? The cow and worms shrink her in Duke Nukem 3D. Oh yeah, she's shrinking down to size. Can you stand on them? Yes, there's a game also on the Mega Drive. You use bogeys, don't you? Was it Bogey Man or something like that? Of course, in Earthworm Gym, you've got the, the the Bogey Swing, or Snot Swing, I think it's called. It's not really for killing enemies, though. It's only get one area to another. Yeah, Death by Bogeys. Now, you've got to avoid getting hit by anything, but also stay out of the, the camera. That does drain your energy. Surprisingly, it does. But also, it alerts other enemies. <laughs> I didn't know that one existed. Oh my goodness me, really? Apparently, there's a new one coming out. So, Mr. Robert Gray was saying. Um, throwing apples is quite odd when you think about it. Aladdin and also uh, Crash Bandicoot 2. Crash Bandicoot 2. One of the boss battles. Uh, was it N Engine? You gotta use apples. Yeah, it's a difficult level this one. I know Mr. Sean P is a fan of this one. Uh Rotten Cow's head in Postal 2, strange weapon. Thanks could be better. No got pain in my feet for years, and the doctors still don't know why. I remember you saying. So it's not like Yeah, I maybe you saying. Wasn't it? I thought it was like an ingrown tone out first. Still haven't found out what it is. That's a mystery. It's a good game now. I did not play it back in the day though. Of course, yes, I saw the film multiple times. Got it on DVD. I don't have it on VHS though. But I think it's a really good game. It's just the jumping mechanics, which is difficult. <clears throat> um, but you don't get much energy, but you can also, I think, get this lies with score. I don't know. To the door. Yeah, you've got some very, very clever ideas. You've got to try and find a horse. Yes, I didn't know about that one. That's crazy, right? What can you do with it? Do you throw it or you swing it? I can't believe I just said that, really, but there we go. It's certainly an unusual weapon. Uh, what does it have? Alright. Yeah, bouncing bullets, it's difficult to try and hit anything with, really. Especially when you find one at a time. Um, the rebound weapon in Tarkin series was so weird, barely useful. Yes, um, the, the laser in the first game was a lot more difficult, I thought, to use than the laser in the second game. Of course, they, they built on that one, didn't they? But yes, when I play... Yes, I, I do I do agree with you. Uh, yes, I did play Tarkin 2 first, then I bought Tarkin 1. Of course, not having the animation with the revert, with the 360. Yes, it was a little bit strange when I first saw it. It just doesn't look right, does it? Without the animation. Oh, my goodness me. Go in there. Four lights intact. All right. Punch him repeatedly in the face with your boxing glove. Um, also, the flame weapon in Ghouls and Ghosts. What a nightmare. Yes, it's... N flames? Always very up and down in games, isn't it? Yes, the occasional game. There's not many. Flamethrowers are good, or torches are quite good, but there's not many. Being ghouls and ghosts and ghosts and goblins, they're always a little bit, um, not the greatest, shall we say. Um, Rotten Cows, oh, I've read that one. The Yo-Yo. Uh, there was also a Yo-Yo in Oscar. Which you use to break walls and swing. The Voodoo Doll and Blood. I must try that game out. That looks very, very good. Of course, I've seen you do videos on it on your channel. It's really good. Um, and Voodoo Doll also features in Goblins. First Goblins. 
Right, it takes your picture. That actually drains your energy, I think. Random, right? Uh, no worries at all, buddy. No worries at all. Um, not over. Not out of the woods yet. It is difficult. Not gonna lie, this is a difficult game. First time I played it, I, I took me quite some time to get off the first stage. Ah. Right, hold on a minute. Yes, very much so, yes. Very, very much so. Yeah, we leave a weapon and... Even Tires of Fox has got its sort of similar situations. More to Blues Brothers than this. But it's a good game. It is a very, very good game though. It's a tad on the difficult side. Um, question. This level reminds me of... T it does. Yes, it does. I, yes. What a scene that is as well. Quite a brutal scene. <laughs> hello, hello. Yes, that's also a game. I have played it once. Yeah, hopefully so. Someone gets to do battle with that, uh, Max. Yeah, sorry, Robert Gray, I missed your earlier comment. Um, yeah, good to see you, Robert. Hope your family's all right. Even folks, apologies. No worries about apologizing, buddy. No need to say sorry. Forgot about the stream. I was watching the Big George Foreman movie. Uh, no, got our first one last year and then the puppy in June. Yeah, hope you're all right, buddy. Good to see you. So that's supposed to be Bruce Willis. It is. Yes. <laughs> Um, you could stamp on the enemies with a boot once you shrunk them down and juke nuke them. I like that. Love it, but terrible at it. Hear this, hopefully someone will get to the bottom of it soon. Rebound weapon token, yeah. Uh, Feast of Strange Weapons. Risky Woods, I love Risky Woods. I have got to the final boss of Risky Woods, but unfortunately I died too many times prior to the boss. And my weapons are really, really weak. But yeah, got to the final boss. It's one of those games I've always wanted to finish. Now this is a very, very different stage because these kill me more times than anything else. And it's an instant kill. Um, let's try and get through this. And some of these doors don't stay open for long, my lord. Right. Alright, hold on a minute. Have you played Mr. Wizard on stream? Uh, I have, but not for a while. And I'd love to, of course. It's brilliant. How are we do for time? Half past ten? I might better do it today. I have a box version? Yes, I do. <laughs> Colin, hope my life is treating you well, Colin. How's life treating you? Um... We've got usual ball to open the doors. Usual ball to stop the fans or the turbines. Just finished drawing High Witch on the CD4 from the movie The Witches. I've not seen the remake. Is the remake any good? But I do have the first film, the original film, on DVD. Some weird weapons in Starbound. A gnome, a tentacle gun, and a weapon that shoots eyeballs. <laughs> Didn't know that. Yes, I don't think I've ever played a game you shoot eyeballs before. I've had a game where you get attacked by eyeballs. Right, this is tough. Um, run. Right. Okay. Um, hello, Trevor. Hello, buddy. Good to see you. I bought a few games recently. I'm not gonna lie, I bought a few. And some have arrived today. But yes, I'm very much looking forward to receiving Rocky and Co. But how you doing, Trevor? Good to see you. It's 
nice you guys were asking questions, I approve of that. Um, fine thanks Jamie, Richie Woods was a sequel called Whiskey Roads. It wasn't, but maybe it should be. <laughs> Evil dogs. So far so good, but I'm gonna jinx it though. The animation of sprites is quite smooth. It's good. It is good. But still, difficult moments. But yeah, I don't think I've ever got past this without dying. I always die at some point. Um, soccer kids. Do love soccer kids. Long game though. Um, just finish, um, which should you make, yeah, this is Ocean, yes, of course, many, many movie tie-ins was Ocean, such a shame Ocean aren't going anymore, but again, it was a long time ago, wasn't it, yeah, we might have been very young when these games came out, but the creators probably weren't. But yeah, great memories of Ocean. Um, right, last bit, I think, coming up. Certainly not too far away. But these doors not open for long. Alright. No, 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 no. No, do it again. Oh, I don't believe it. Richard Wilson strikes again. Um, got some games. Oh, I say. I'm interesting. Um, oh, that's cool, mate. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> I love it, buddy. You know me. I absolutely love it. Yeah, I've been collecting for years. Not to CG4 of Amiga, I've been buying a lot of them, I still do. Um, yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? Mate, that's fantastic. That is, thank you so much, that's brilliant. And thank you for all your work. I mean, you do an amazing job for the CG4 community. I wish you stopped making good games. It cost me a fortune. <laughs> I say that in a nice, I say that in a nice way. No, I can't. Da, 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 da. Lies are fading. Um. Right. Focus, Jamie. I've, we need some more lives here. So who's played this game? How far have you got? I think it was also on the CG4. No, I keep... The trouble is, I'm not timing the door right. I keep getting electrocuted, which delays the door. That's the issue that I'm facing with it at the moment of time. It's all down to timing. Right. Ah! Lord, right. Hurry up, see what I mean? Very, very, very close. Right, we're through. We're not done yet, though. Um... No! Did you get past level one? Oh, Lord. Right. Don't fall down there, that's bad news. There you go, just like that. Don't think I've played it, but my boyfriend Adam says he has finished this level because it was on a covered disc demo. Never played a demo of this one. Sports equipment. How many platform games were involving sports? Can you name? Oh, platform games involving sports. Yeah, first thing that comes to mind, yes, of course, is, is Soccer Kids. Um... 
I can't think of any more. Not off the top of my head. Um, I don't know, actually. I'm really not sure. It's a good question, though. Right. Be right with you. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really struggling. Yes, some kid sticks out like a sore thumb. There might be platformer games that have a, a sport weapon, maybe? Like this one? It was a bit of baseball. Right. That's got a mummy in it. Right. Hello to Mr. Nightlaw. Hello, everybody. Jumping mechanics! What were they doing? What were they thinking? Oh, this for a horse? We're doing it for a horse? Hold on a second. Right, we're through! Uh... You dogs. Right, hit the picture. Right, we're gonna break the safe. Hope you're well, Mr. Nightlord. Good to see you. Speaking of movie-based video games, is there also a Die Hard and Amiga? There is. Die Hard 2, I think. Which I think is a first-person shooter. More like a crosshair, I think. I think so. Yes, I have it on the PlayStation 1. I'm not going to go and get it. It's over there. But yes, I did not I did play the Trilogy 2 on PlayStation 2. Wasn't as good as the first, though. Hello, lovely people. Hello. Um, had to watch Bruce Willis' movie right after, and it's pretty wild. Involving dodgy shooting and sliding. Um, I don't know if Die Hard featured on the CG4, though. Right, I've got Cracked Safe. Six. Nope. Five. Seven. Six. Oh, come on, baby. Do this. No. No. Five, seven. Oh, my lord. Miss it by a whisker. Please don't be an instant kill. Please don't be an instant kill. No, we're okay. Well, it's a different code, though. Right, one, seven. Eight. <sighs> no. No. Seven. Seven. One. Oh, poo! Hold on a minute, I can't read chat for doing this. No. Seven. No. Oh! Seven. One. Oh, I go too quick! Oh! Poo! Say it. Game over. Damn it! Um. Night Postman, take care. Take care, Mr. Kite 6 g Have a good one. Jamie, what about audio cassettes? Do you collect them? Not much anymore, unless it's CD4, I do. Yes. Just check what they are. June Frontier, Sensible Soccer, Degeneration, Championship Manager, Silent Service, Hitchhiker, SimCity Classic, and Bird of Prey. I have got... Oh my goodness me, I don't think I've got any of those. I do have one Sensible Soccer box. I do have SimCity, uh, I think, but it might be a different one. But apart from that, I don't have any of those. I mean, that's fantastic. I don't believe that! <laughs> Asking a lot of a player, game over, really, yes. Do you have a tape loader for CG4? I do. I have original CG4 cassette tape deck. Three of them, actually. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. Never mind. We didn't get the horse. We didn't get the horse. I had to quit this game. There we go. Uh, my lord, what time is it? Uh, how about a little bit of sensible train spotting? Let's change things around a little bit, shall we? Uh, let's go this. Let's do it like this. Take it easy, Kite 6G. 
Uh, no, it's called Die Hard Trilogy and lots of action. Yes, on the PlayStation 1, it's Die Hard Trilogy, yes. Uh, Die Hard Trilogy 2 on the PlayStation 2, yes. Right. Um, yeah, have a good one, Kite G. Have a good one. Um... <laughs> no, train sensible train spot was requested by Quagers. Uh, we're going to do it like this because there's quite a lot of sensibles, you see. So we're going to go for window view by name. Hanging out still, busy with the grandkids. How many grandchildren do you have? How many children do you have? Appreciate it, buddy. Always appreciate it. Um. There's a lot of sensibles here. There's a lot. Yeah, hope you have a good weekend. Yes, again, we'll turn the tables around. So it's totally different. But it was requested by Quakers. Um, and of course, Lethal Excess, exactly. We'll go from Lethal Excess after this one. Um, you got the literal spikes. Maybe that was stage four then. I think that was six I think I reached there. There you go, the latest blockbuster. There you go. <laughs> Next question. What was the most ridiculous name of a game which you have played any system you would like? Now, if you haven't played this game, again, I'll try and explain it to you. We've got to do train spotting. What you got to do, basically, it's a really good mechanic. It's a nice idea because, yes, it, you got to try and spot the trains with the code. If the code is on the, on the train, when you click on the icon and it's the same icon, it tallies up. But if you press an incorrect one, when it's not on screen, it's going to take some time away. But it's clever because, yes, if you press one that's not on the screen, it will actually deduct you. So, yes, it's, you can't just press them randomly. You've got to wait until the, the number is on the screen. And, of course, it starts off really plain and sane. It always does. But, yes, sometimes you get some false names, false codes. But what we need now is C22. <laughs> and it's time. Of course it's timed. Well done, you sad friend. On to the next card. It is a little bit because you don't quite know what it's supposed to be pr pronounced. And of course, you know how I'm going to pronounce it. I've always been saying it like that, but I'm not going to say it here. <laughs> the reason why it doesn't make sense is because it features in the X category. If you go to X, there it is. It's a strange one, isn't it? And a few people have said over the years, well, why is not X-Men called Cress Crossmen? Which is a good idea. It's a good, it's a good shout. It's a very, very good shout. <laughs> And of course, it's going to get more and more difficult as you progress. I think I've reached level... My lord. Uh, 11, I think, is the furthest I've got. But every time you fail, you go back one stage. 4, 3. But yes, as Quagga said, it's a good one for reading chat. <laughs> and yes, I agree with him. But of course, I'm trying to read comments at the same time. None of those are what we need. Yes, it is. It is. It is, Robert Gray. It is. It is. But back in the day, I never called it that. But yes, it does say it on the title screen. <laughs> but it's quite a comical conversation, this one. My lord, cables, tangles all over the place. Right, need one more. I'm so tangled. Right, well done, my sad friend. On to the next card. My lord, this is ridiculous. Right, so look at your answers. So, lager, lager, lager. Remember that from a single. Um, void the baby on the roof. Train spotting game joke. The 18. Yes. Whatever that one is, I couldn't see it. Um, don't believe it. I know. I can't believe it, buddy. I've got past it. In fact, I got past it early on today. Uh, C5, 18. No. 90. Yes. Uh, has anyone played this before? Supergran. There was a program called Supergran, wasn't there? Or Super Nanny, I think it was called. Or something on those lines. Basically, it was a children's TV program back in the old, old days. It's not in shock, Jamie. Uh, yes. It's not in shock, Jamie. It's not in shock. Um, it's not your type of game. It just breaks the ice a little bit. Right, A5936 is what we need. Um, two and two, cutting lawn this weekend. There was actually a game also that involved around 
I think someone said on Discord the other day, it's basically a lawn simulator or something. Yeah. 3 4. D384. No. Super Grand Scottish Woman. 3 2. D32. No. D901. No. Uh, A30. Yes. Name of a road. Um, hold on. Three five five. Yes. Advanced Super Anorak Simulator. My goodness me. So many simulators. Anything could be a simulator, couldn't it? Took a gamble there. Tea bag Grosma. Yes, I remember those. I do remember those. We had it good back in the day. Forty five seconds. Your first sensible sucker. In fact, I found this game when I was doing a, a video based on Sensible Soccer. Bulldog Blighty, I think it was, to be precise. And yes, I just stumbled across it and added it for additional footage. Um, yes, the latest blockbuster, it says on the title screen. Right, D498. We had a lot of watch witches. We did. We did indeed. We did indeed. Um, the runaway train came over the hill and she blew. There was a game called Super Grand, I think. Uh, the devs are jokers. Scene 18, 4, 2, 1. 7, 3, 1. Quickly, quickly. It's got to be on screen when you select it. Um, but of course, you're going to get so many obstructions. He's 139. Hello, Joy Crips. How you doing, buddy? Uh, 972, C67. It's random, I know. But I do like it. Hover Bova. Yes, that's on the Mini, isn't it? On the Maxi as well, I believe. I can't read that one. I can't see that one. Um, how are we doing for viewers, people? How are we doing? Dash a go-go? <laughs> Something like that, yes. 7-8. Question. Favourite game based on TV show? Ooh, um, good question. I love Trapdoor on the CG4. Through the Trapdoor, wasn't as good as the first, I thought. But still a good game, though. Um, I mean, there was a game called Finders Keepers on the CG4, but it's not technically based on the program Finders Keepers. Uh, LOLO wasn't too bad on the Amiga. Um, Red Dwarf, I don't know if it was a Red Dwarf game. I think there could well have been. On the Amiga. C3726. C3726. Where are you? Nine seconds. Here we go. There you go. Superb. Neat sound effects. Neighbours. Yes, of course I was. Yes, it was. Not played it, though. It's a skateboarding game, isn't it? Right, I'll do a few more. A120. 7686 and 702. Not there. No dice. It's good, isn't it? 30 watching. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Not about the coma situation, though. Don't want anyone in comas. But there's one guy doing a little bit of s train spotting. Um, 501. 122. Yes. Yes, I don't know if it is. This might well have been a freebie on a magazine. Maybe. Um... Blockbusters, there was a Blockbusters game, yes, there was. On the C4. Amiga, I'm not sure. I have been tempted to do a video based on movie game, uh, sorry, TV game shows that had games. Of course, there were so many, wasn't there? Still not in shot, Jamie. 1995. D550, we're cruising. Um. Yeah, so this Hover Bova, heard of it and never played it. Plays a bear, don't you? Crystal Maze? Don't know if it was. Nightmare, of course, it was. It wasn't as good as we all expected, though. Not as good as we wanted it to be. 066, 098. Uh, virtually Impossible. The Critton Factor, yes, there was a game on the CD4 of that, which I did watch a lot in my young days. And I tried to copy it on an obstacle course once, and I fell and sprained my arm. 
That hurt. I couldn't play games about three weeks. Thomas Tank Engine? Yes, of course, did a long play of that. Yes, did watch a lot of Thomas the Tank Engine. 6-3. Um, 6-3? No. Run the Gauntlet. I haven't played that one. That's on the Amiga, isn't it? One eight eight. Yes, it, well, it's my favourite programme of all time. Always has been, always will be. I'm, I just think they should redo it. It'd be so good if they redid it. With today's technology, it's certainly doable. Uh, 39 seconds. Are you still with me? <laughs> Are you playing along at home? Elvira, it's a great game. You know, I'm not a fan of that sort of genre, but that game I do like. Bought that a few years ago as box. It's a game I'd like to play through one day. Still didn't get rid of that heart, did we? Miami Vice, not played that on the Specky. That's probably why I've not played it. But looking forward to getting the Spectrum next in the future. Oh yes, Adam Family. Based on the film though. Was it ever one based on the TV show? Uh, right, last one, move on. Look at these numbers now. 956. Uh, no, didn't see that one. Roadrunner? Yes, there's quite a few Roadrunners, wasn't there? 2-4, 2 81. Bob Monkhouse, you used to watch that as well. Generation game, Turtles. Games Master. Classics. We had it so good, didn't we? Uh, it's probably not going to finish this time. 3-4. Um, 4 some of these trains are very long. That ends in 8-4. Is it, is it good? Mommy Vice? I can't see that. How are you supposed to see that? There you go. Thank you for Swedish Sounds. I appreciate that. Uh, there you go. Probably won't do this one. But I'll give it a try. <laughs> I like it though. Yes, it's random, isn't it? It's very random, isn't it? Four six six. No. Can't see it. It's there, but can't see it. Ten seconds. It's not going to happen. Street Hawk and no. So you go back a level. Time up, sad man. Go back one card. Um, yeah, Rogue One was good. I feel a bit more sympathy for Dexter Fletcher, doing the best with him he was given. Bob's, Bob's Full House, Crypto Factor, Bullseye, Every Second, Count, Free Version, Blockbusters, Countdown, Treasure Hunt, Mike Reed, Pop Quiz, and Question Sport. All on CG4. There's probably tons more. I imagine so. Uh, watch John McDiamond on the Twitch during lockdown. Yes, he did quite a few of those, didn't he? He did indeed. Yeah, he, was, he did some songs as well, didn't he? Right, last one. It's all well and good getting far, but yes, you fail. You go back one stage. Um, I'm pretty sure I have reached 11. 5-4, yes. <laughs> right. Good to see you, D1. Hope you're well. Most ridiculous name for a game must be Zappa Kraken and the Alien Mind Blender. It's a quite a long title, isn't it? Not played it though. Nine five. Hypertribe is good in that too. Two more. Imagine people actually did this for fun. Yes. In real life terms, or just the game you're referring to? And he's a wall. It's a sip of drink. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I was just doing the emanation. Got the tea down myself. Didn't realise there was a bit left in there. Absolutely cold. That's got pulled down me. Oh. Right, we're going to move on anyway. Lethal excess. Why not? Oh, I was going to have a desk and everywhere. When you drunk your tea, Jamie, then it wouldn't have a problem, would you? 
Right, we'll do it like this. Uh, we'll do it like this. Treat some beer. No, I don't drink beer. No, 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 no. Quite a lot of people at work drink beer daily. But yeah, I, I, tea, I could take it or leave it. Someone said to me, no more... Did I say tea or beer? Beer, I could take it or leave it. Uh, if someone said to me, no beer for a year, that's absolutely fine with me. I could do that quite easily. But tea, don't take tea away from me. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right, there we go. Tough game, but I'm working on it, Mr. Sean P. And also Algerstein, who requested it. I'm working on it. The most ridiculous name, Freddie Perker's Frontier Pharmacist. They didn't like it because it wasn't Red Dwarf or something. Can you upgrade your flask and sandwich box in this game? No, you can't. Took out a subscription for the year of Zap64 and could pick a free game. I picked Night Rager and had to wait 12 months to get it and get it made me sad. Um, yeah, quite a lot of these I've not played, but thank you for the request there, Mr. Robert Gray. Yeah, Rogue One, there was two versions of Rogue One. One I actually do have, one I was based on the arcades. Lots of revelations that show Dominic is a good guy. It's amazing how successful and famous he was back then. Barton and Space Mutants, do we have a box of those relaxed? Um, am I going to buy the Maxi? I am indeed, Mr. Van Caven. Yes, it will be an unboxing for that. Thomas Tank Engine, play it after. Virtually Impossible, The Crypt and Factor, Crystal Maze, Nightmare. Bullseye, there were so many darts games. Yeah, World Darts was quite good, which is basically the Mega version of 180, which I really enjoyed. Uh, a Japanese train simulation game originally produced by Taito, and most recently Square Inc. and Raffian Holdings. Yeah, Blockbusters was a brilliant. Again, this, the, the programs we had back then were so good. We had it so good. And I don't know if. You guys watch any game shows of today? I don't know. But yes, they're not as good as the one we used to have. A MIDA game, remember that as well. Sony games with the Spectrum I need to try out. But of course, when I get the Spectrum next, I will of course be trying quite a lot of them out. <laughs> Jamie, aren't you a tea freak? I am a tea fiend. I can drink tea like tomorrow. Vampires need blood to live. I need tea to live. Yes. Right, great music by um, the Open Hibble, this one. Tipping point's not too bad, actually. Tipping point's good. Almost as good as Chris Hales Bear. Excellent music for these games by the Open Kibble. Yep. Fantastic. Catchphrase. I think mean, that's catchphrase is still going, isn't it? Remember watching Street Hawk with 54 and never even got released. I think it only got a special version, maybe an Amstrad version. And was Dempsey and marketing game for Amstrad's. Do you play much um, Spectrum, Mr. Robert Gray? I know you've got one, because you did a repair on one, didn't you? Um, but yes, I'm going to buy one. I'm assuming you will also, Mr. Mancave. Yeah, Colin, it's fantastic. Uh, it's a pew pew pew, exactly. Lex was also good. No one liked that one also. No one liked that one. Sounds like a handful of samples for Turkin games. Was this into the soundtrack the other day? Oh, really? See, I always do that. I'm always listening to that. Right, it's not in shots. Can I pause it? You better believe it, I can. All right, let's get this sorted. But yes, technically, it's, it's, um, Winds of Death 2, isn't it? Technically. Alright. We've got to have some pew pew pews. Sure am. Absolutely. Of course. And of course, you've got plenty of space for it, too. Last Ninja 2, yeah. Brilliant. The Amiga version wasn't as good, was it? Right. Spoiler Hero, yeah, finished that one. Did that on live stream uh, last year or the year before. Right, we're going to stick with the triangles. Now, what I don't like about this game and the first game is the skulls. Every time you pick up a skull, it basically drops you down to the basic weapon again. You keep the current weapon, you just lose its strength. I don't approve of that. I've never approved of that. It takes quite a long time to upgrade your weapons. But it only takes one skull to change everything. And also, at the end of the level, all your weapons are taken away. Which I don't approve of. Should be punished for finishing the stage. Right. Groovy music is fantastic, isn't it? Really is good. But yes, I'm not using auto fire. 
You get a much, much better rate of fire if you don't use auto fire. Um, but this game does have an energy bar. And I've streamed it once or twice before. The first time I streamed it, I got nowhere. Um, but yeah, Disposable Hero it was amazing. The C32 version was a tad easier. Which should be a while to realise that. Anyway, I'm not going to talk over this amazing music. <laughs> I can't remember what the C does. Yeah, unfortunately, thumb is hurting already. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not... Yeah, I sort of understand the skulls, but you shouldn't lose all the weapons when you finish a stage. See, it takes so long to upgrade, but yeah, quite a few games did that. Not all games, some did not, some did it correctly. Um, it's so good, isn't it? It really is good. Now to fully upgrade him on this game, it doesn't take as much from this game, but the first game it does. That kills all enemies on screen. Bingo. Uh, we don't need power downs, no. But I think you get more skulls on the first game you do in this game. Now thinking about it. Yes, I'm using the zip stick, yes. Yes. Oh! My lord, don't do that again. Myself. Yeah, die and also downgrade you. Of course. Expect nothing more, nothing less. Hold on a second. Right, and of course you get a boss battle at the end of it. Of course. Yes. Ouch. Um. Yeah, I don't know if he's still making um. Songs. Yeah, it's very, very good. Absolutely good. Amazingly good. But it's a brutal game. This is only easy difficulty. I've never tried hard. I have tried normal. But yeah, even easy is not easy. It is not easy. You don't want to be losing weapons before the boss arrives. The boss is a lot more difficult than this one now on the first. Energy, yes! No! Don't believe it. Damn it. Don't believe it. Never mind, we'll carry on. Uh, hold on a second. Wiper is poo. And that's really poo. Probably should use your speed as well. What tends to restart actually? Go with that. I hope it's got a better joystick, a better uh, pad! No. Restart. I can't do it again. <laughs> uh, downgrading is necessary, in my opinion. The developers wanted you to change your weapons per level. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Yeah, so I, I, yeah, I can see your point there. Um, Jamie, your weapons reset each level because you have to it twice. Um, why every game had different screen resolution? You need to switch. Well, it's the way it is. It's just the way it is. It's the way it's captured. If you're playing it on the Mini or the Maxi, it should be the same screen every single time. It should be. Triangle is the best weapon? Not really. Uh, I mean, some levels you get... It, it all depends what you get more of at the start. I mean, you do get quite a few triangles at the earliest points, which is why I tend to stick with it. Um... um yeah, some are better than others, but there are some atrocious ones. But yeah, the wiper is horrendous. Uh, 
Um, yeah, some sort of flame weapon you get, which is not bad. Quite strong. That thing is quite good. I'll try to get it on the second level. Um, yeah, if it comes with a better joystick, hey, that'd be amazing. If it has the ability to have a, joy a zipstick, that'd be even better. I hope so. The joysticks for the Mini and the Maxi are absolutely horrendous. They are diabolical. It just snaps so easily. You put so much work into the system itself and they give it a really, really horrendous joystick. I mean, the, the controller's okay. I can understand some people do like the controller, but of course, me being me, I'm not a fan of them anyway. But I did praise it in that video. I really did. Do you prefer vertical shooters or horizontal shooters, Gumbio? <sighs> oh, got some information on a shipping item. What is that? Didn't quite see what it was, but something's been shipped. I don't know where it is. Do you prefer verticals, dear? I prefer horizontal. Ah! Yes! <laughs> Jamie, pay attention. Pay attention. Ouch. I mean, imagine if our type was, ver was uh, vertical. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? Need energy. Need energy. Arrow. Oh, the arrows tell you where en where enemies going to arrive on screen. So basically, if it's arriving from behind you, those also tell you if it's something good. Which in this case is the nuke. So basically it's telling you what you need to shoot to get the greatest weapon to get you out of that situation. But yeah, it's nice it tells you also where enemies are going to arrive on the screen. Which is a good thing. I'm not a fan of enemies appearing from behind you. <coughs> yeah, it's quite nice. I like that. Yes, I think it's quite a good thing. It's quite fair, isn't it? But having your weapons taken away from you <clears throat> is not as fair. It's very easy to pick up a skull by mistake. There's so much going on, on the screen. <clears throat> and this game can be a bullet hell. <clears throat> it's very difficult to not pick one up. So sometimes it's probably best to not defeat the pack. You get a weapon when you defeat the pack. Don't kill the pad, you're not going to whisk putting one on screen. That makes sense. <coughs> I'm a little bit foggy in my throat. Right. Bubbles, defeat the bubbles. Yes, do need to drink some water. Oh, poo! There's the health there, too! I'm in my zone. Hold on a second. Look at that energy. That is very, very low. Energy! Come here! Yes! Right. Yes! I mean, I love Xenon 2. That was the first ever game I saw on Amiga. And, uh, yeah, it took us a few years till we got, got it. But, of course, it was the first game we saw. And it was, it, it's an oh, extreme wow factor, that game. I mean, that was the turning point. We wanted the Mega so badly. <sighs> yeah, spark bombs are very handy when you, s when they appear. Yes, I bought one of those nine pin adapters. I was going to try and turn one of my zip sticks into a two button joystick. But I never actually got it done. I wasn't confident in my ability to do it. I mean, yes, I've got about seven zip sticks in my possession. If one goes peak tong, it's not a bad deal. But I don't want to wreck, wreck any of them, really. Anish Dubline, have you actually met Yoken Hibble before? You might have seen him in one of these events that you go to. Right. Weapons are intact this time. I haven't lost any. But the bosses are a lot more difficult in this one than they are the first. F 
farm is hurting a lot now. <coughs> you met, yes, you met him, yes. You got my, you got his autograph for me. That's amazing. Collect the ball. Um, Jamie, many power-ups assist you. Eight different weapon systems are now available, each of which can be upgraded multiple times. Other power-ups are extra speed, smart bombs, and auto-fire. But yes, even if you pick up the auto-fire icon, it still doesn't make it very quick, does it? So I just keep, I just keep tapping it. Um, Time to the controllers will survive a nuclear blast. Yes, these will also survive a nuclear blast, I think. Um, ice matrix are good too. 1991, so it's not HGA, but looks like it. Now, this works on a 500. Um, just need two non ports. Can't be hard. A500 maxi. One of the favourite shoot maps are vertical. Um, yes, drink of water. Yes. I bet he's a nice guy, that Chris Hellsbeck bloke. Oh, Alkenstein, you've met him too. Ah, boom a pal. Um, it's glitched a bit. Is it really? Uh, that showed amazing graphics and said that it was extra processor and 1541 distro. I've got one of those. Do you have one of those? Thank you, Sweetest House. <clears throat> right, I've got to go blaster. That's what I tend to go for in this one. But you do get them quite early on. I'll take that. But yeah, I'm avoiding the triangle now. Um... Yeah, it's quite a strong bullet, this one. Are you off? Take it easy, buddy. Have a good weekend. Take it easy, Swedish house. Um, have a good one, buddy. Oh, no, 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 no. Shoot em ups and win ch chat is so difficult to do. It really is. Ugh. That reads statistics as well. Even I'm not reading many at the moment. Yeah, that's the question of yeah, it's asked um, Andrew Bly. I do wonder if he has. Probably. He's met a lot of people. <laughs> not me yet though. Don't get that. That's poo as well. Uh, ignore chat. I can't ignore the chat. How can I ignore the chat? Oh my goodness, we did not want that. Ignoring the chat is a crime, my friends. It's a crime. Hurry up! Energy, please. Energy, please. It's amazing, isn't it? It's just probably my favourite one, this one. I've used it in a few vlogs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, lost my weapon now. Well, I've lost its highest ability now. Oh, do I... This is what I tend to do. I tend to hesitate. What do you go for? What do you... Oh, my goodness, mate. No. No, it's not max. No, it's you need. Oh my god, it's got like three, bu uh, three, four bullets, two back bullets. Oh, my TV's gonna turn itself off now. I'm gonna have to pause it. I can't do it. Uh, TV's gonna turn itself off, as you can't see. It's gonna be interesting. Oh no! Could not get out of that. Blame the TV for that one. Oh, I can't believe it. If I press... Oh, well, I'm going to kill myself and we'll continue. Death, death, death. Death, death. I should have to continue. Um, Bandersnatch was the Spectrum Mega Drive from... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. Continue? Yes. Yes, two. Um, Spectrum Mega Drive from Imagine that got never released. Finally got released on Atari ST and Amiga. Do you have a Atari ST? Uh, listen to the music more than playing the actual games. Do you really? Um, wasn't Bulbous Nest the Mega Drive Mega game for the Spectrum, which never got released and caused Imagine to collapse? You missed the power up then on your own weapon. I know. 
Um, this game is like Project X. As soon as you lose your weight, fame, firepower, your brown bread. Well, it, yes, pretty much. Alright, we're going again. Last go. Or your TV tries to turn itself off when there's a skull on screen. That's also a bit of a killer. Oh, for... Pfft, no. No. Continue again. <laughs> what do you want to see next, people? It's 20 past 11. Continue. Uh, we got... Uh, in fact, I think we've played them all. Might go with some uh, Risky Woods. You don't like it, no? I think we've played them all. If I tend to play some Risky Woods. Heath is not a fan. Surely the music makes up for it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe next time. Let me get some practice first. Oh, it's just be the same result. That's the problem. It's going to be the same result. Kill by the girl. Get killed by the wasp. Take it easy, buddy. Have a good one. Appreciate you being here, as always. No <laughs> weird dreams. He's not a fan. I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm not gonna get that. It's too risky. Do not want the wiper. It's poo. Is it playing up? Is it? Is it? It's not going on though. Oh, you can't see a cat in this area. Why would you, though? Um, one day, I'm sure I'll get past it, but it's level four. I can't seem to get past both. Okay. Don't like any of it. He's not a fan. I know you're not a fan of Weird Dreams. not a fan of this one either. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, what about Wings of... Well, you don't like Wings of Death. I'm assuming if you don't like this, you probably don't like Wings of Death either. But in Wings of Death, you actually do change... Well, you're not in a spacecraft. You're a, a dragonfly at the start, or a butterfly. And you actually turn into a dragon, depending on what weapon you pick up, of course. Oh, oh no. Come on, that. I like Wings of... Yes, I do like Wings of Death, yeah. I finished that one. <clears throat> but Hatchies continues. Um, yeah, this is just easy mode. It's crazy, isn't it? This is easy mode. I know, it's crazy. Yeah, what are they thinking? I mean, I haven't tried hard difficulty. Imagine what that's going to be like. So basically, it's telling you where the item is. It's telling you what to pick up, basically. This is a very good weapon. <clears throat> but it's limited in time. Um, pick up that, it's going to cancel it out, which we're going to have to, I think. <laughs> Has anyone finished Weird Dreams? I certainly have not. It's not a long game, though. I've just got to figure it out. So much trial and error in that, it's ridiculous. Look at like Grimlings, Grimlings 2. A lot of trial and error in that one. I did reach level 4 the other day. I never reached that level on Amiga before. But yeah, doing the long play on the CD4 really sort of gave you the incentive to give it another go. But back in the day, I never got to level 3. I got to level 4. Only one more to do. It's quite a long level, this one. In fact, they all are. This is, yeah, this is maxed out now. This is a good weapon. Uh, I mean, even one single bullet is strong. But picking up a skull is always going to take to change everything. It, the tables turn on its head. Yes, I love a bit of sis. We all do. Oh, Mr. Spud. <clears throat> this game is poo poo pants. Oh my lord. Well, if I ever long play it, Heath will not be watching this one.
We'll put you. Well, I'll change it very soon. <laughs> right, Emmett. Do one more boss. And once it's maxed out, it does that. Which doesn't kill everything, but it certainly helps. Well, I'd like to... Ooh, close. Ugh. I'd like to finish... Ah. I'll try to do both of them, really. Ugh. Hold on a minute. But yeah, Wings of Death, the first game, is going to be more easier to do a long play than this one. This one I haven't actually done yet. Right, energy. It's a long level. It really is a long level. I'd rather eat my toenails and play Weird Dreams. <laughs> I think mean, Sweetest House will probably agree with you. Have you ever played it before? I'm guessing you probably haven't. It's always nice to reach a boss battle with maxed out weapons. It's a shame about the two lives I lost though, you know? Woohoo! There you go, my thumb is killing me. Fire and Brimstone! Yes, got played that, haven't we? Ox, are you still here, Ox? Ox, are you still here? Yes, I totally forgot about that. Yes, of course, Ox, yes. Thank you, uh, is that Gumdio? It's always Gumdio. Thank you, Gumdio, I appreciate that. Hippie Kaye, yes. Yes, well done, superb. Fire and Brimstone. You're still here. Right, we'll play some uh, Fire and Brimstone, just for you. Um... Yes, okay, bingo. Um, go back to F again. Yes, I played it very briefly when I did that quiz question. And I don't think anyone got the question right. No one got it. It was quite surprising. Even when the four images was unveiled. No, nobody got it. Um, however, this version on DHD Load is very, very, very buggy. Now, this game... It does recommend you using a controller, but you do need to use quite a lot of keys. Uh, Brenry, hello Brenry. This is not real Mega. This is this is real Mega. This is not me alive. Um, yes, the keys. You got you got, you got to use certain keys to select weapons and certain keys to use potions. And I had a brief go early on today, and it was really not playing ball. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But anyway, they do play quite a big part. But I think yes, you got to try and use. Well, CD32 pad, I think. Get the most out of it. How you doing, Prenry? Good to see you. <coughs> no, I'm not playing on the big TV. I'm using my small TV here. I've got TV... Well, I've got four screens in here. No, I'm not playing this game in the living room. But no, I haven't long played Winter Death, no. No, I have played a few games on the big TV, but no, in here, it's, it's 21 inch. Of course, got 21 inch up there, 21 inch there, and this one's probably about an 18 inch, something like that. Yes, a little bit, like it, yes. Whew. Right. Another tough game. <clears throat> Music by David Whittaker, but not a lot in game, though. Yeah, this is a game that doesn't really got, get mentioned at all, really. But I played it back in the day. I got absolutely nowhere with this one. <clears throat> right. Uh, ask, yes, I asked if you played the new TV. You... <coughs> well, I did a unboxing of the TV, yeah. But the trouble is, that's in the living room. My streaming setup is in here. But yeah, I'm always going to stream on small TVs in here. And in my spare time, <coughs> yes, on the big TV in there. Unfortunately, I haven't got the Mega continuously on display in there, unfortunately. Right, now this is something I did not know in the early days of playing it. You've got to try and shoot this owl, which I didn't realise you could do. But that gets you a very important potion. <clears throat> they can also get other additional lice in this game, but there's no time limit here. You've got to try and find all parts of the key, like the one, I guess, in Fire and Ice. But so many things kill you here. But it's a nice game, though. Um... But yes, you've got to try and use potions at the right time. Some put platforms in place. Some are smart bombs. But yes, there are a lot of things that cause death here. 
Um, but you can only hold two items at one time. Now that spell, if it hits you, it actually alters your controls. Restart. Um, is Spud here? Hello, Mr. Spud. <laughs> what are you doing? Yes, he's really rocking in this one, isn't he? What time is it? How was your evening, Mr. Spud? Well, the fireball is good, but I quite like the dipped one on this one. Because when you've got an enemy on a lower plane... Now, this enemy here is not actually an enemy unless you shoot him. If you shoot him, he attacks you and kills you instantly. If you just leave him be, then that's fine. But you can also get a axe, which also fires in a forward direction. But yes, the space bar is supposed to select weapons for you, but it doesn't always work every time you press it. I do think this WHD low version is quite buggy. Was it good, was it? Um, are you playing this on your... No, not in the kitchen, no. I ain't got a TV in my kitchen, like you have. No, I don't have any. My kitchen's not big enough. Not big enough. Right, bring it up there. Up there, up there, right. But yes, I would stick with it, but unfortunately the buttons don't always work. Right. That will actually reverse your control, which might would have done. No, it hasn't. Oh, Lord, but it's difficult, it's challenging. Right, uh, now f energy is fruit. We can find in the trees. Dead or red? Well, no, I press the escape key, really. <laughs> right. Now, here, you've got to press a specific key on the keyboard, which, like I say, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Which, like I say, it's buggy. It's quite buggy, this one. But eventually, it will work. We've got to press the arrow keys. Eventually, it will work. I promise. There you go. It's weird, isn't it? It's just, it's buggy. It's really, really buggy. But yes, without that, you can't jump over that bottomless pit down there. Right. But I might forget a physical version in the future. Oh, that drains your energy. Um, yes, there is the axe. It's probably more like a hammer. Now, when you die, you go back one screen. Yes, fire brimstone and keyboard. Yes, I like that. It's accurate, that is, yes. Right. Now, spacebar is supposed to switch weapons as well. It doesn't do it all the time. It's a mystery. I mean, some WHD low versions are quite buggy like this. But more so with the backgrounds than actually the, the foreground or weapon selecting situations, which it is here. Gee whiz. Right, up there is another one. Um, there you go. See, what? Well, a bit better that time. We do that to get to this. Ow, now. A bit cruel, isn't it? Is it loud enough? <laughs> Try to move the flame. But yeah, the axe or the hammer is quite good. This weapon here is not bad, but I tend to stick with this. Right, a life. I'll have that. I will take that in a moment. Sounds good. But yeah, the first time I played this, or should I say, back in the days of playing this, I didn't even get past that level or that screen. We got to use that secret platform. I didn't know anything about the secret platform. So I gave up quite quickly. But yes, I'm still not 100% sure what it is you've got to do in this game. There's a lot of trial error on this one as well. So I'll go with that. Um, there. Sounds good. Still here, Quakers. Good to see you, buddy. What's your plans this weekend? I know you're a very busy man. You always are. Ha! That's I messed up my controls. It certainly does keep you on your toes, this game. Um, yes, yeah, so I need to get a manual, really. Ah! I talked about witches earlier on today, wasn't we? It's, quite a, it's more of a Halloween game, this one. Oh, my Lord. Right. 
Don't know what that does. Doesn't do anything. Don't need to go up there. Right, witch. There's a witch around here somewhere. Um. Oh! Poo! Nobody comes from that way. Not that way. Meanie. Right, hold on a second. Uh. Using track. Right, just keep going. Just run like a Jewel Bunny. Right, super. Don't shoot! When you go past you. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> oh no, it's difficult. It's very, very difficult, this one. Let's try and get to the boss battle at least, if I can. It's difficult, yes, it's a tough one. Yeah, everything's out to get you. I'm sure he's not a bad guy, but yeah, everything's out to get him. That will actually affect your control. I reverse it, it will slow you down. Right. Now I'm reversing control situation. But good, it is good though, yeah. Now what if I do that? Can I do that? No, my controls are still reversed. Right, we have another go. <laughs> Sounds good, right. Did you like, uh, I did, I did comment on it. Yes, I did. 80 miles per hour is crazy, isn't it, for a remote control car? Yes, Ghosts and Goblins meet Stormlords. Is mashing the keys in the manual? No, you've got to press the arrow keys to use your spells and the space bar to cycle through weapons. But like I say, it's buggy. And I did also get myself another version, and that's exactly the same. So I'm assuming it's a WHD load issue. Exactly. Exactly. I had to read the manual on WHD Load to find out about those keys. I just kept thinking, well, you can't go any further. How do you get over Bottler's Pits? Because the first ever time I played this game, I shot him and then he killed me. So basically you just avoid him like that and he, he just plods off at his own pace. Right, we'll give one more go. Half past 11. It's a nice game, though. It's a nice game. It could be that the game isn't compatible to CPU. Maybe. It could be that. Of course, lots of... Ch you know, this... Amiga is a lot more enhanced than what it was when it first came out. You know, it's got quite a lot of memory now. Right, jump over the frog. <clears throat> Double whammy. Uh, right, the apples. Like the game I played earlier, also harm you. So don't pick up any apples, Jamie. Right. But yeah, it could be something to do with that. Yeah, it's not a bad shell. I am early early tomorrow, I'll be getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm okay, I'll be alright at the moment. I'm alright. Um, yes, yeah, so if you get hit by the spell, by the witch, yes, it reverses your control, or slows you down. Just press it, it will do it eventually. <laughs> I remember there was some downgraded software for the 1200 that would make it more compatible with the 500. Yeah, it might work brilliantly on the 500. Absolutely so. Just carry on as you do. Yes, I'm going to look into this. I'm typing something, isn't it? Maybe you press two keys at the same time. I've tried everything. I've pressed all the keys, I promise you. Unfortunately, you have to do it. That's the thing. There you go. See, it's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. It's not a fault with the keyboard. The keyboard is fine. It's absolutely fine. Once you do it, we'll carry on. But yeah, you're probably right. It's probably a memory issue, an upgrading issue. I'm not going to get that. It drains my energy. All right, avoid that. Evil bats are homing on you. Right, okay. 
Another poo poo pants game. <laughs> oh dear. You're turning into a Mr. Spud, you are. Right. It's a good game. It's just a tough game. My goodness me. Right, up there. Yeah, the key should not be like this. There you go. So, Mr. Heath, have you got a favourite game on the Amiga? Or what is your top three? If you don't mind me asking. Or top five? You go for a top five if you want to. We know these ones don't feature, but what ones do? Yes, yeah, I'm trying to 500. Yes, it's not a bad idea. Alright, let's jump over that. And that is another potion we need. There's a life we need. Yes, Chris Soul. Yeah, correct. That's it. Oh. Oh. Handy. I think I'm actually jumping a little... Ooh, might be jumping a little bit higher. Right, we've got four lives. Okay. Better go this time. Yeah, I love James Pond. Big, big fan of James Pond. Oh, my Lord. Right. I'm not going to give up without a fight. We're going to get... We're going to get somewhere here. Yes, love James Bond fit games. Not many are finished, though. I mean, one, it's a long game. But it is a good game, though. Right. Just got to run, 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 run. Just gonna keep running. Keep on running. Keep on running. Uh, that could have gone the other way. I shot that guy in the back. There we go. It's such a good weapon at a distance, but yes. That's the way to do it. Oh Have you played this one, Gumdio? But yes, I think it was a copy floppy situation once again. I don't think my brother played this one, but I did. Unfortunately, I have made a bit of a mistake. But there's a reason for the mistake. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Lucky we've got two lives. Taking too much damage, taking too much damage. No. There we go. Right. Superb. But yeah, this is the problem I've got. It's this. Which brings us to the next question. Um, how many games can you name which send you back if an item is missing? Now, there's only one game I can think of at the moment of time, but basically, if you don't have the key, you get sent back to the start. Now, you do keep your weapons, you do keep your lives, but it's supposed to be, I think, there's a hidden door somewhere, which I haven't found yet. But that is quite mean, I have to admit. There's not many games I know that do it, but a few of them do. But I got here early on today, and that was a bit of a shock. I thought, well, I've got past the first level for the very first time. To then have the smile wiped from my face, to realise there's more to this than meets the eye. Now, I haven't missed it, but you've got to try and find a hidden door. So, yeah, it's a bit like Ghouls and Ghosts. That's the only one I can think of at the moment in time. Well, Ghosts and Goblins, I meant to say. Uh, which then is going to make it quite difficult now, because we don't have as many potions as we did on today. Don't copy that floppy. We all did it. Now, I don't think this is going to work. I've got to try and get over here. I don't think I've got the potion to do it. But I keep pressing the buttons, no, no doubt. Right, your favourites. R-Type, Flashback, Monkey Island, June 2, and Final Fight. I'm surprised you like Final Fight on Amiga. Have we got another potion? We don't. We're screwed. We can't do it now. We can't get anywhere. We can't get over this hole in the ground. So basically, we're dead. We can't get past it now. 
Because we can't use a potion, we've got one. So, yes, it's a case of trying to figure out where the hidden door is. And I will find it one day. But yes, we can't get anywhere now. We can't get over this flame, we can't get over the bottom of this pit. But we're making a good progression, though. Yeah, pretty much, it's game over, boys. Beast 1 is brutal if they didn't have the second key. Yes, you don't do it in the right order. In fact, I've played it the other day. I've, actually, I've played it so much recently. I've finished it so many times now. But there we go. That was my early, early on attempt. I've beaten that one. I've got to try and find this hidden door. Find this final part of the key. Uh, such beautiful pixel art that's never going to be seen by most people. Uh, this game was coded by the same guy who coded James Pond. Relicate was the downgrade of software. Uh, I remember that was one of the few games I had to use nibble copy option X copy. Fire Soam is a Atari ST game ported to Amiga. Maybe those steps that lead nowhere. <laughs> yeah. There, I th yeah, I've got to try and find it. The door is left on that building. Oh really? Is it really? Beside the bridge. Oh right. Huh. I'll try it another time. Yeah, I can't think of any more apart from Ghosts and Goblins and this. The game that sends you back if you miss an item. I can't think of one. I'm struggling too. Take it easy, Mr. Andrews to Blind. Have a good weekend, buddy. But yes, I like your ones there, Mr. Heath. I like those as well. But yes, I'm not a big fan of June 2 and Monkey Island haven't played very much. But of course, you said the magic word at the start though. Oh, tight. I'll tell that one. Right, we're going to quick, quick go of Risky Woods, because that was requested, and then we'll call it a day. But we've played that one, played that, 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 played that. We've played them all. We've played them all. <laughs> right, quick go, and I'm going to get some sleep. I'm up at five o'clock in the morning. Right, we'll go back to this one. Uh, high game, that's it. Take it easy, Mr. SQ1. Have a good weekend. <laughs> Yes, I'm struggling too, but I'm sure there are more than that. Um, but yes, in Ghosts and Goblins, if you don't have the crucifix, you get sent back one level, I think. I'm pretty sure it's one level. Um, yeah, have a good weekend, Mr. Andrew DeBlime. So what's your plans, Mr. Boulder Dash C64? Must be quite a reasonable time for you now. Probably lunchtime now. Um... New genres of games, the keyboard platformer, yes. I mean, it's, it's, I suppose Lost Vikings is like that. A lot of controls done on keyboards. Yeah. What's my job? Uh, <laughs> I work in a food factory. I am an, a manufacturer. Uh, basically, a, 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 a machine operator is my title. But yeah, basically, it's manufacturing. But basically, I manufacture... So, as in stuffing. So, yes, any stuffing you had for Christmas, I've probably made it. Yes. <laughs> so, that's what I do. And I love it. It was a job I used to do 13 years ago, and I left to go move in with my ex-wife. Then we split up, and I moved back. I transferred from the job I was doing at the time to the job down here. I did that for six months, and I was getting a lot less money than I was getting up there. So I left that job, got the last job, which I was there for five years, and then took a gamble and tried getting my old job back, and I did just that. Thank you very much for that very kind donation. Thank you. Let's celebrate the 20th Super on a live stream. That's fine. Look at that. That's amazing. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. Thank you. You love stuffing. Well, next time you eat it, you might think, I might have made that one for you. But yes, and not just the basics. We also do ones for Tesco's, Sainsbury's, Lidl's, Aldi's, all that. Um, different flavours. We do cranberry. We do sage, onion, all that. And sausage flavour. Chicken and bacon. Yeah. But yeah, the machine is actually on four floors. It's, it's, it's a big machine. It's up and down stairs all day. Alconstein, thank you so much for that. Really, really appreciate that. Cutting class today, maybe playing some patient free, maybe later. And it's 10.45 a.m. Um, I love the smell of cut grass. I really like it. Uh, but yes, I have to admit my grass doesn't need cutting. 
Right, one last go. It's a bit stuttery now, isn't it? But Alkenstein, it's very kind of you, thank you. That's different when you got to the final level Streets of Rage 1. The game sent you back to level 6 if you accepted Mr. X's offer. See, that I didn't know. I've never finished the first game, only finished the second. It's really stuttery. I noticed that when that, that pop-up appears, it does slow it down a little bit. But then this PC does need a Sears upgrade. Maybe my weekend. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Come on, work with me. Work with me. Love the soundtrack this one as well. But yes, here I am again, adjusting the screen sizes. Yeah, gotta do it. Ooh, a bit stuttery. I don't know. It's struggling, isn't it? Ooh, this is a bit buggy. <laughs> what is the secret recipe? I can't tell you that. Look at the back of the box. It tells you. <laughs> Onion, mostly. Onion, sage, parsley. They're the main ingredients. And rusk. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, you do get a workout, that's for sure. I mean, it's not, sometimes it's busy, sometimes it's not. It's not overly busy at the moment. Um, now, the power-ups in this game are very, very random. Some work for you, some work against you. And even though I do actually have a box, I've got a manual, I still don't really understand this game. Because the, you might pick up the same icon one time, and it works for you. You pick up again, it might work against you. And also, some of these monks, you've got to try and rescue a certain quantity of monks. Some of them are good and some of them are bad. It's very difficult to tell which ones are good which ones are not. So again, a lot of trial and error in this one. What about you? What do you do for a job? <laughs> I told you mine. What do you do? We've got to try and pick up these eye keys. Yeah, it's a it's a brilliant game, but this is also a really brutal one. But you've got to try and pick up as much coins as possible. But you do get a shop, and everything's very expensive. It always is in a game like this. I, well, we do get cheaper, yes. Yes, we do. But yeah, we, it's not just... Well, we do lots of things at our factory. Uh, anything from noodles to peas, frozen peas. We do... Um, jelly. I said noodles, I think I did, didn't I? Um, hold on a second. Ah! Angel Delight, do that as well. Bachelors, basically. Right, going for it. We are invincible. Another one. <laughs> I don't actually. Got one box. Just the one box. Is a roast dinner is one of the nicest dinners ever, but it's a lot of work for one person. And of course, the box I've got in the cupboard makes 12 stuffing balls. And due to these small boxes, it makes six. But yeah, it's a lot of uh, a lot of work, really. It's not really worth opening the packet and just making one or two. You might just make them all, really. So this should be the sound on this one. Right, time, time is ticking away, Jamie. Get going. Um, I mean, picking up all these coins is good, but it drains your time. You have to go look at the cappers. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, Angel Delight. Yeah, it's it's a busy line that one. I've not worked on it personally. And also, if you run out of time, you also lose a lot of coins. If you die, you run out of a lot of coins too. Um, I'm a joiner. You make windows, doors, etc. Oh, really? But that pays well. Um, 
Great stream, buddy. Made the holiday Friday afternoon. Incredible graphics. This must surely created for me originally. I think so. Uh, I bet Jamie has tons of these other cupboards. You love Android Light, do you really? Haven't tr had Android Light in years. Which is the best line. Well, I mean, we don't technically work on the line. We basically make the product for the line. Um, if that makes sense. Oh, energy poo! Need that, Jamie. Oh. Yeah, basically we make it, they, and they fill it, basically. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting job. It reminds me a little bit like the, the machine, which is called the Beast, in Night Shift. It's kind of like that, in terms of its size. Right, trouble is when you die, you lose your weapon upgrade. But <laughs> I like butternut squash, yeah. Jamie makes multicolored stormtroopers. Oh, you do? Yes, in, yes, I do. I do. In Night Shift, I do. That's another game I would love to have done a series on, but <clears throat> a lot of levels. <clears throat> I think people might get bored. It's quite the same, isn't it? But then the more you progress in the game, the more you're going to get introduced. Machine grows in size. <clears throat> Yeah, not just Stormtroopers, you make uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, C-3PO's, R2-D2's, even Indiana Jones, yes. And also, I think you do make a character from Zack McCracken, I think. Basically, anything from LucasArts. Um, yes, you have to, yes, basically you'll go, you get sent back there, you can't jump that high. So yes, you pick up the, the arrow, which sends you back in time a little bit. You can't jump that high. Yeah, it's crazy, but yeah, that does use up quite a lot of time. But yeah, sometimes if you pick up energy... <clears throat> like I say, there's a lot to this game I don't understand. But sometimes you pick up an, a, an item and it will drain your energy, but in terms it will give you time. Or sometimes it will take your time away, but at the cost of health. It's a gamble you've got to try and take sometimes. But I think even that arrow... Pick up does also drain your energy a little bit. Well, sometimes reward you with time. It's it's a mystery. I love the smell of Paxo. Yes, I do. My brother hates Paxo. He hates stuffing balls. Right, uh, I'm gonna just leave it as that. I think. Yeah, I love it. Every time you go in a different room in the factory, you get a different smell. It's nice. <laughs> I approve of that. Again, there's a bad monk, you don't know, it's difficult to tell. I might smell of it when I get home, yeah, maybe. If we're doing like a special ingredient, like in our case at the moment of time, it's chicken and bacon. The powder is very fine, and yes, you might smell of it. So yeah. It's not a bad thing. It's worse of things to be smelling off, really. Yeah, so I might sort of go to work, not spin an onion. I might come home and I might spin an onion, you know what I mean? It's okay if you don't like, unless you don't like onion, then you're pretty much in a, you're going to be in a war of pain there. Take it easy, Mr. Heath. Have a good weekend. How do you make it? I can't explain it to you. It's just a machine that we do. It's all done by a computer, basically. You basically got to tell this machine to, to do it. You know, it's got like a... It's quite a clever machine, really. It's all run off this... Um, system. And this, I suppose this screen is very important. Yeah, you basically tell it what to do and it makes it. Of course, you've got to keep topping it up. You know, you've got to, you've got to make sure you've got the ingredients in it. Right, that's going to drain my time. Too much, too much. I want onions. No, you won't have that. No, you won't have that. You're gonna get more flavors of Angel Delight. You're gonna get flavors of Paxo. Good thing you don't hate it. Well, yes, if I hated it, I probably would still like the job though. Right, let's just go for it. Run, run, run. Yeah, but yes, we need that. Um. No, we don't. No, we don't. Good 
you think my workers don't follow me on Facebook? Or YouTube? It's sued. But yes, I mean, I've never really sort of had a really, really high paid job. I mean, I've worked in, um, it's been mostly factory works, factory jobs I've worked in most of my life, a warehouse. I have worked in a parts department, in a, a car parts department, and I did all the stock. Uh, that was a quite a difficult, painful, heavy lifting sort of job. How I didn't break my back doing that job, I don't know. Lifting all these car batteries and exhaust and star motors and all that. But it paid the bills, but I had to do a lot of overtime to get a reasonable wage. <coughs> Which is why sometimes I'd get two jobs. I was working at uh, Domino's Pizza and working there. And when I worked at DHL, I was also working at Domino's Pizza as well. Additional cash. Um, but yeah, it was a gamble going back to the old job. But it certainly is a, a better paid job than I've had in the past. And it's nice that I like it as well. And the people there are cool. We have our moments, of course. No one likes a Monday. Ah! What time is it? Two minutes to midnight. Just like the Iron Maiden song. Right, I'll go to bed in a minute. Let's just get this one done. I would love to do that. I would love to do that. Pay to pay. I mean, what's not to like about that, right? Yes, no one's really sort of asked me that. Um, like, to do game testing. But yeah, I would. I mean, I try and promote games, of course. That's going to send me back. Which might drain my energy. No, it's gain me energy. At the cost of time. Hold on a minute. We love a bit of parallax. We do indeed. Right. And, uh... Woo! There's a lot to do still. Maybe. 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 It's a good point, isn't it? I've been playing games for years. Look at this time, Jamie. Time. We've got no time. Alarm's telling me it's midnight. No, we're going to run out of time again. Just can get some time. No, no time there. Oh, poo. No, I'm right there as well. Might get away with it. Look at that, one second. Can it get any closer than that? Uh, <laughs> some stuff in. Um, you don't know any game you don't like. I. I don't know any game you don't like. There's not many I don't like, uh, to be quite honest. I like a lot of games. A lot of games that people don't like, I'm probably going to like. Food likes, thank you, thank you. 56, that's amazing. Right, we're ending it right here. Finish the boss. It's better to have upgraded fireballs. I will do, I will do. I've got Sunday off. I'll probably do a video on Sunday if I can. But I've had to, I've had today and yesterday off work. I booked two days off. I thought it's not busy. Might as well. Catch up my sleep because I was struggling, tiredness wise. But I always do. I always do. My dad was always a napper, my mum's always been a napper. I get home from work, I just crash out. On the early shift, it kills me. Absolutely. Late shift's not too bad. I can't stream on the late shift. Yeah, I've always been a bit of a night owl. I'm not really much of a... I mean, I can get up okay. That's not a big deal. Get to work, I'm fine. Go through the day, I'm fine. It's when I get home. It just hits me like a ton of bricks. Always tired. Right. I have to admit, these last few games, I've been struggling to read the comments. Thank you, I appreciate that. Good game, though. Right, what can I buy? Probably not a lot. No ways at all. Thank you, I appreciate that. Right, uh... Let's max out. Energy. 
I'm not quite maxed out. He's been trying to finish Switchblade 2 lately. Another hard action platform, one hell of a challenge. Yeah, Grim and Graphics. I've not played the first game, only the second game. Um, very really good stream, good range of mini games. Thank you very much. I'll leave it as that. I'm tempted to go over it, go on, but we'll leave it as that. But anyway, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the donations. Thank you to Algenstein. Really appreciate that. Very kind of you to do that. It's not, it's, for some reason, it's not updating. Very strange. Thank you, Ox. I appreciate that. I'm going to work on that fine brimstone. Even Jasper's here. He's back in the room. Sleep, though. Hard life, innit? It's a hard life for a cat. But I'll leave you be. We'll, we'll cue the outro. And, uh, yeah. Have a good weekend. See you next time. Ciao, bye. Thank you for all the support. You're superb. Cue the outro. Ciao, bye. Good night, Jasper. Ha, ha, ha.